Hey everyone, and welcome back to a Ravenhurst mod. So we are possibly gonna face a horde night now. Uh, earlier, over like two, three hours ago, someone mentioned that it was almost a horde night. So I wonder if someone faced it yet, or if it's right before. If it's right before, at least we'll be able to level up a bit uh, because we haven't faced one in a while. And if it's after, then at least we can actually focus on just questing, exploring, having some fun. Uh, let me just make sure everything over here is pinned. Everything is focused on tested. This. Okay, and then I have to join chat and do push to mute. Okay, so we are going to join the game. Let's see what day it is inside. If it's mid horde, I'll have to run. <laughs> I'm hoping the horde is actually almost done. Although, if we can face one, we do need to level up. Uh, I need to make sure we grab our XP elixir, and then I also want to make sure that we get as many red bags as possible. Hey Lindsay, welcome to the stream. It's funny, I was just going over all the comments. I just realized I've passed 6.6k subscribers and I was like, oh yeah, comment section. It's been eight days since I commented. Hey Bob. Hey Jean. John. Did you see my post? Yeah, in Discord. I was just saying, I wonder if someone else has played it or if it's still a whole day. I don't know. I just I'm about to log in now. I'm watching the stream, so I'll see when you log in. <laughs> I don't want to log in in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, if you comment on my videos and I don't answer, then it might be a very old video or YouTube is just not notifying me. Um, someone actually, Bullhorn Streamer, said, yeah, he sees I don't respond to comments anymore. It is Sunday, 3 p.m. But yeah, uh, he says he's, uh, he sees I don't respond to comments anymore, and I do. It's just sometimes I forget, and it's like eight days later when I respond to them, or uh, if I just if it's not like a, a question or something, it's just a statement. I just hearted and like it. Um, but yeah, sometimes, especially now with the influx of subscribers, it's getting a little bit hectic responding to everyone. Uh, but I mean, there's uh, in all the comments, like from the past eight days, there was just like one hater that says he hates the fact that the videos of uh, thirty five minutes, uh, thirty five minutes. I have no content because I'm basically in one. Uh, it was a Ravenous video. I'm only in one POI for the whole episode. There's nothing entertaining about that. Other YouTubers uh, uh, spend two days in game. I was like, dude, if you don't like the video, no one's forcing you to watch it. Bye bye. I don't get how people can complain about something that they have control over. If you don't like something, don't watch it. <laughs> Okay. Because oh. that's their nature. They have to complain in order to feel good about themselves. My screen doing that now. I see a weird... Twice just now, I saw something weird run across my screen. Okay. Hello, Lindsay. Let's see. I need to make sure I was... I think I was busy making that steel. Completely forgot about it. Clay, carbon, iron's gonna be the next one that's left to put in again. What people don't understand is everyone has their own style of doing things. Some YouTubers spend a whole week in game for one episode. I just never know what to cut out because there's so much content. You're losing out on content. If you're if you're spending more than a day in game and your episode's like 30 minutes long, then I, I feel like you're starting to lose out on content. And if you're doing two days, then how do you pick and choose? It's basically like the highlights that you've shown. That's not really gameplay. Mine's more like a playthrough than a highlight reel. I'm hoping my screen's not busy going. It was the visuals in the game. I need to also see... I need to see if I can't find settings or something for my um, computer. Because uh, Bullhorn actually also commented saying that on his side, uh, he even has extra modlets in the... Uh, he's playing Revenus with extra modlets. And he's getting no lag at all. Whereas I'm only playing with the modlets we have in Ravenist, and the, the, even in single player, when the zombies fall, sometimes they fall in a slideshow kind of thing as they're lagging. But it appears it's on my side, not on your side, so it's weird. Like the viewers watching me say they don't see the uh, the lagginess, but on my I side I've seen them fall slowly. So it might just be that my computer isn't strong enough to handle everything. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Which is another reason why I have this uh, goal at the bottom of here. Basically, I need to give myself like an affordable um, 
uh, second computer, one that handles just the streaming, like OBS is run on that one, and then the one that handles the gameplay. So this one would be my just for the GPU. I need to go and see what tweaks and stuff I can make to make it run smoother. Okay, we're gonna put that in there, we're gonna put that over there, and make a thousand forged steel. Without these in there, oh, ho, ho. it would take me 220 minutes for a thousand steel. But if I put in the two crucibles, because I need, oh no, two anvils, because I need the one crucible in there, it's only 80 minutes instead of 220. Now that's still a lot of fuel. How did it jump like that? Oh, that's 1 minute 20. There you go. So this is going to smelt in. I think at the moment it's the iron that's going to run out. There's still so much carbon left to smelt in. Damn. You mean 1 hour 20, not 1 minute 20. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Because I said 80, uh, 80 minutes. Yeah. That's what I just said hour. <laughs> I can't believe I just said minute. I, I could have I heard myself say hour even. You heard yourself say hour? Yeah. That's why I saw nothing no, wrong with that statement. <laughs> you said minute. <laughs> wrong with my... Perhaps my PC just has to warm up a bit. You shut it down every night? Uh, I shut it down sometimes. Other uh, times I just keep it on. Depending on how much noise it makes during the night when I try and sleep. But I think also yeah, this computer really needs a, a good cleaning. But it's a little bit expensive. And then most companies that clean it for you uh, make you sign a thing that say that if it breaks it's not their fault. And this PC is a little bit expensive for them to be saying stuff like that. Concrete, what do we need? Murky water and concrete pouring. At least I should be able to make all the water I need. Yeah, we have a ton of pulls. Look at that. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to be facing the horde here. I wonder if I shouldn't head over to the other base and face it there. Because I need the bag, so the more I can kill, the other horde base might just be a little bit more up my alley when it comes to raid bags. But let's do that then. I'm going to grab all the drinks. Um, Burning elixir. Take some of that. Food. Of that healing, I need to take a few bouts of this. At least I'm making murky water so we can just drink that if we're on fire. Hopefully, I don't have to waste it for that. Oh, it just kicked me right to desktop. You freaking kidding me? Okay, ammo, high caliber, melee weapons, takes, range weapons. It takes me so long to log in. Is my screen doing that? Every now and then, it's like a thing running across my screen. Um, M60, M60. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I have weapon repair kits, but only three. Hmm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the drone. Okay, I'll take these M60s worth just in case the other ones fail. In case I run out of repair kits, basically. And then... I'm not really going to need the shotgun, but we do have some rounds over here, just in case. Technically, I can leave this one behind, because this has the same mods as that one. Modify. Start using one of the raid ones now. I should probably do that. Only use the red ones. I'll take the other ones with as backup, but I'll only use the red ones for now. Technically, I only need the one red one, but if the breaks, unfortunately, then we have the backup. Although, if that breaks, that's going to hurt so much, because that's a lot of mods in there. Is this a Wandering Horde or something? Yeah, this is a Wandering Horde right now. Probably quickly kill the second head over to the other base.
I want to work on the board base today, this space over here. But I'm going to have to wait for all that steel to finish. Definitely a wandering ward right now. I need to hurry up to get to the other place. That's a big wandering ward right now. Do I have the time to kill all of them? Jump in the hind and go. I have time. It's fine. I say, and then I get there just as the ward starts. I like how you pose the question, then somebody a answers your question, and then you say, no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> At least with me standing on top of the ladder like this, it's easier killing them faster. Yeah, the, a lot of the wandering wards split up over there. I think for now it's okay, let's go. I'm hoping the, the steel finishes, even though I'm not here. The thing about this mod is that it, is, it constantly I has zombies spawning everywhere. Because if you got a horde, I could possibly get a horde right away. Yeah. You know? Oh, come on. It's already five. It's taken me two in-game hours to log in. I'd aim right there. Your helmet's red. Yep. Ooh, there's Nemesis somewhere. Oh, well, leaving him behind. Yeah, by the time I get there, it should be a whole day. Uh, I'm taking a few boxes with my old base, so it's easier for me to dump stuff if I need to dump. I'm going to put two, two or three boxes at the hoard base itself as well, so it's easier to dump stuff in those containers. I need to see, I think instead of a new full tower, I need to see if I can't get myself a... Uh, a fan. I need a, basically a dual fan. One that pulls in the air and one that pushes it out. And then that fan needs to be able to get plugged into a non-modular um, power supply. If I can do that, then at least there's enough, a little bit more airflow in my box. Because it's metal, especially in hot days, this thing just cooked. But there's something not connected right somewhere, because I've noticed just now... Oh, I don't know if anyone in the stream sees it, but every now and then like on my screen there's like a line that just runs through the screen. I'm hoping it's not the screen itself. I'm trying to think when last I had weather with like thunder and lightning over here. Okay, so I could I could go up and trade this, but I'll do that after. I need to go straight over there. At the old base? No, it is over there. I have to make sure that I make myself a ton of weapon repair kits. And I need to use my M60 all the way until it can't use four mods anymore and then I just chuck it away. And I need to also repair it every time it just starts to get into the red, repair it. Even if you're losing out a little bit, in the long run at least the gun doesn't break. At least I think Trader Joel's a tier 4 quest right now, so it's going to be a little better. Apparently that mismatch in uh, quest tier and getting the quest in single player um, is a single player thing, because someone else also said, yeah, they got it as well. Where it says, that, for example, my single player, I'm on tier 7 quests, but I'm getting tier 4 buildings. And the weird thing is, as soon as you start the quest, it says starting tier 4 quest. But the zombies inside the amount and the difficulty and stuff, that's tier 7. There's still so many buildings I want to check out. It's funny, now in single player that I have that hazmat mask, 
Um, I'll be able to progress so much faster. Go from zero to a hundred real quick. I'm so tempted to go for that stuff over there, but it's radiated. Okay, I need to park in a place where my vehicle won't get smacked to high heaven. I think of the year should be more than enough. The zombies usually spawn more or less in this bend over here by the uh, where my drone is now. There, so over here I should be fine. My senses have picked up something. Hello, zombie. <laughs> bye bye, zombie. Since the zombies usually spawn in around here where I am right now, my vehicle should be fine right there. Let's see. This has been slightly repaired. There's one block missing there. At least I'm not I'm gonna try not to shoot downwards. I only want to shoot at them as they're coming straight at me over here. So for that, uh for that reason, I wonder if I shouldn't take one of these out. Make the zombies get a little bit closer. Especially since they always come from the side. Let's make them run a little bit more before they fall down. It's funny, I went from not being able to do any tier 5 quests, because I don't have that mask, to you now being able to almost go to like the wasteland. It's funny how fast you progress as soon as you get that one item you need. I should have brought my hazmat stuff as well. I would have been able to go to the Apaxco buildings of the end and just loot the stuff inside. Technically there's enough time to quickly open the trade route and all that stuff as well. Is that a bo yeah that's a boss over there. Huh. I'm sorry you're not going to My cat's being punished. He attacked an, uh, the other cat, and my daughter brought him in. <clears throat> so he oh. has to stay in the room. I've got a bad feeling about this. It seems the camp was over here because the zombie just woke up inside the middle of the stairs. A what was over there? A camp. Because there was just zombies spawning out of the middle of nowhere just now. So there was a camp that was built over by the stairs of this base. Oh, I see it. Apparently in Darkness Falls, the farms don't consume water anymore. Someone was saying that um, instead of going to live at Razor's place, just go pick up the farm plots and build somewhere else close to the water source. Yeah, I asked you that. Why don't you do that? But I didn't know about the thing that it doesn't require water anymore. Well, well it oh, requires water, but it doesn't consume water. Because basically at Razor's place, there's a working um, irrigation system water inside. Yeah. So, but now apparently you don't need, a, it doesn't consume the water. So you can basically go there anytime you want. You can just, you can make like a, a rain catch, although the rain catches work different now. You can basically take a bucket of water, throw it in between your farm, and it, it shouldn't get consumed. Should have enough time to quickly do this. Might be dumb. But there's so much time left in game. I gotta remember to switch my hazmat to my hazmat stuff. I'm going 2.5 kilometers past you now. To that uh, trader over there just before it hits the wasteland. To open trade routes and then I'll come back to Lord Base. It's more <laughs> than enough time. The biggest Your win or the biggest uh, bonus about the, uh, the helicopter is the fact that it can go straight. You don't have to worry about bumping into anything. Except obviously trees. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, 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 hello. My attention gets, um... I, I must have ADHD or something, because I every time I think that I'm on my way to something, something else happens. Okay, you... Put this in there. On the way to that trader, now see a uh, airdrop over here. Obviously, I have to take care of the airdrop quickly. Come on, he's gonna hit me, he's gonna hit me. Oh, I thought I might get some steel blocks out of that. That was unlucky. That was an in-game half an hour wasted. Why's that? Quickly got from the, uh, went for an airdrop. Now, I shouldn't be oh. wasting time right now. I thought you were going... The trader. Yep. <laughs> I was like, the, the, the airdrop's right there. Like, right underneath me. I have to go for it. Oh, yeah. You had to. Of course. What was I thinking? So I want to go check out these turbines over here, just to see what they uh, look like up close. The BOI itself should be rather interesting. It almost looks like you can go up into- yeah, yeah, I think you can. Up into the turbines. There's the door on the right side of there, and on the back side over there. Dun, dun, dun. The weird thing is my past four or five uh, streams, after the stream, they uh, they take away the monetization. And I have no idea why. I thought it might be those naked ladies, but I haven't been watching, uh, looking at them. So all I can think of is, poli uh, is the political talk every now and then. Like if we just, if we uh, just do some kind of talk about the, t uh, the dude running for president that everyone hates. Stuff like that. Um, I think YouTube actually censors you. Because that's the only thing I can think of. We, uh, I haven't been looking at those naked zombies. And there hasn't been any swearing or anything. But they uh, say like, yep, this is not ready for advertisers. That's... I don't know. I mean, swearing, I don't know. Because Judo and Glock 9 swear all yeah. the time. The so definitely, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely not the swearing. It's definitely not... Um, uh, it's, it has to do with what we're talking about. The, the topics, I think. I don't know because I've heard other YouTubers talk about it, and there's there's a bunch of YouTubers out there that just do political talk, and they get money. I don't know. All I know is like the last five of them. Uh, the, after the stream, I just see, oops, there it goes. The monetization's gone. It just says uh, the the topic or whatever being discussed, or just the video itself is not suitable for all advertisers, and just all of a sudden. Because all the streams before the, uh, those five or six were fine. All my videos are fine. It's just those streams. Hey, Skaterberg. Yeah, you're early. Just started streaming on a face of horde now. Someone yeah, actually you... asked, uh, does the time actually uh, move ahead? Or like when, is it a 24-7 server? Uh, because every time I log on, it's uh, like a Thursday. I was like, yeah, but that uh, shows it's a uh, 24-hour server. Because time flies that fast on that. I mean, the one time I logged on between streams, the whole in-game month, especially in the, the beginning of the, uh, the series, the whole in-game month was gone. He was wondering why it's always a Thursday, uh, why, why it's always a Thursday or Sunday. Uh, like, <laughs> oh, or Saturday, just, be, like, like, just before the Horde. Every time uh, the stream starts, it's like a uh, Sunday morning or Saturday night. Yeah, people are just active, that's all. <laughs> and it's 90 minute days. We're already on October 7th. 90 minute days. And the series only started what? Like a month and a half ago? Month? Month? Yeah, two months ago. Roughly. Six weeks, yeah. I wish more of the servers could be this active in the long run. But this one's actually really well balanced, that's why. 
progression isn't too fast. All of us are basically still the same level. I played uh, for four hours this morning, so that's why there's three game days gone by. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was Sunday, you know, at 3 o'clock. I'm yeah. like, oh, boy, it's horde day. I, I got to get off. I can't. But you can if, if there's work. enough to. Oh, to work. I was about to say, because if it wasn't a work thing, uh, you, you can feel free to face the horde. I don't always have no, to I... face the horde on the stream. Even though you guys love seeing me suffer. <laughs> a lot of people are actually saying my current series, the, the new Darkest Souls series, even though it's hell on earth, it looks too easy because I haven't suffered. I haven't died yet. They want to see me die. I want to say, oh, no, this is BS. What kind of goal is that to see a YouTuber struggle? Again, yeah, it goes back to people are just, they want to see other people suffer. It kind of, it brings joy to some people's one of the I mean, One of the subscribers actually said uh, they want to see me uh, say, oh no, this is bullshit. What the hell? Like they, they want me to rage at the game. You're like, how's that? Nerves, <laughs> hey, jackass, can I lighten that backpack up for you? Put this away. Grab that. I don't need any more. Uh, I don't need any more books at the moment, except when it comes to like the black books and yellow books. Um. It's a shame the trader doesn't sell like uh, repair kits and stuff, like weapon repair kits, even if it's expensive because of the item that it is. And you go a little bit this way, and then a little bit this way. Lift, 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 lift. I need to I'll basically stand still in that road next to the house and then turn left. Over here. Stop. Oh, that's a boss already. Come on. It's waiting for the helicopter to get low enough and then it's going to uh, charge at it. So do this. And jump out. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I don't get how they or why they run in circles. Just now, this boss on its way to me all of a sudden decided just to like go in circles. And no hearts. I'll go back a little bit. Oof. The axe is actually really good at taking off heads. I got a mini horde coming in. What broke? Where's my knife? I gotta get them. I gotta get them with my knife. So now with a little bit more way to move up here, get to over here. I'll be able to hit them easier. There As you yeah. wish. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's 2110. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for now, put guys. the M60 away. Mm. I'll keep this one over here. I'm going to have to repair. Yeah, you know what? Let's start with fresh new blue or red ones, I mean. If the one breaks, we have this one as a backup. And we don't have to worry about repairing anything at the moment. Oh, you tried to be sneaky and come up behind me. Yeah, the fuel I can put in the vehicle, so I don't have to use that right now. I should probably keep two of the M60s on me. Like, for, uh, for use, because uh, even though I have to repair twice as many guns... No, wrong ammo. Even after I've uh, repaired two ice as many guns, at least I'll be able to um, have like a backup. So I'll use the one, and then if I really need to use a backup, like something's going to explode, I can use this one. But only then. I wonder if my GPU needs uh, an update or something. Okay, half an hour to go in game. So what's that? Three minutes, right? Yeah, about. 
I want to see how many times I can level up. I'm fighting off a death thing right now. I died again. I forgot I was wearing my damn hazmat gear and I went in to fight a horde. And I, I got crit. <laughs> That's all it took. It's like, oh, you want to come fight us? Okay, you're dead. Military repair. I need to make myself one of these. I just realized my helmet is uh, level 955, but it's very close. I wonder if they can actually completely break. Like, if you get to hit too much, you can actually lose armor pieces, if I'm not mistaken. So I have to be really, really careful. Ooh, I didn't bring drinks with. Hmm. Oh, you're gonna lose that helmet. I'd take it off if I was you. That's fine. I have another one at the base. Bye bye mods. It's just uh, mining helmet lights, banded armor, customized fittings, and advanced muffler. I've uh, I should have doubles at the base. Come on, the maze. Oh, where do I put this? Where do I put this? Right here. On the one end, I should just stand over here and just shoot them as they're climbing up. On the other end, we should actually probably just do this, and only when they come over here, we shoot them. They're gonna run more or less a straight line over here. I think in my single player game, I need to start collecting as many resources as possible, and I need to see if I can't find a snow town. And build a base there from scratch. Because I just realized my current horde base, um, they're within 11 blocks of me. When they fall, they're below 11 blocks, but I don't think that matters. My senses have picked up something. I wonder if the game fails to register the zombies fall and that's why it sometimes goes up and down like that. That boss just now, I knocked him off the railing, he went down, up, down, up. Like the game couldn't register whether he was busy falling or staying on top of the walkway. Level 103. Game stage 332, not bad. See, if more zombies can make it to us, it's going to be more fun to actually kill them. And easier Whoa. to kill them as well. Boss boy. Heat, heat, heat. Come up the steps, dum dum. I'm going to check something quickly. Options. Audio. Yeah, 30%. Okay, cool. Red is tier 4, yeah, it's a T4. I want to wait until more bosses and nemesis and stuff show, uh, start showing up before I use my XP elixir. Like this dude over here. Okay, so now we drink this. We drink this. Hello, Bolt Nurse. Six thousand XP just for that one nemesis. The only ones I'll shoot down for are the ones that can actually shoot me back. And probably also bosses since I'm drinking this XP elixir. Just killing one boss is a lot of XP. I picked up my XP elixirs. Actually we need we gotta get uh some super corn. We need super corn in there. Oh 
Ben hasn't been on for the past few days. Probably busy. Okay, I hear fire, which means... I haven't seen Al on either. Hello, fire. I'm killing before the boss music takes my demon monetization away as well. Which means I can't even hear the boss music sometimes. That's how low it is. Better to stand up here and shoot. At least with this, I kill more zombies than I killed at the bookstore. And with the XP elixir now as well, that should help a lot. But look how much stamina it uses just aiming down the sights with this gun. We have five zombie incoming. I wonder if there's any tier sixes. Look at Grace. Oh, she tried to go. You're in the wasteland, right? Yep. I need to see if I also can't start a farm and make myself some um, strawberries. The only problem is I know the drone keeps messing up the strawberry farms. That's actually really dumb. The fact that your own drone can destroy your farm. Yeah, I have a rocket launcher. I forgot. I drank my XP elixir a little bit early, but I needed to do it for that nemesis. Oh, shh. I can never tell whether, uh, because I think my mouse is broken by the right, uh, the right mouse button, not always staying zoomed in. But I wonder if it's the mouse button or if it's just me not applying enough pressure to it. Because even now and then when I'm actually pressing the button, I don't get that happening to me. Oh, there you go. About to ask for the big ones. Wow, that dude's head it, uh, counts for everything above his shoulders. So when you actually manage to decap him, it looks nasty. It looks like an explosion went off and took everything above off. I just eviscerated a nemesis with my rocket. One more? Damn, the snake has a lot of HP. Oh, hi, Bomber. You're not dead yet. I know you're not dead yet. There you go. Now you're dead. I can be glad he didn't hit me straight on because that would have done some damage. It's a boss. I need to kill him. Oh, I broke my 1M60. The one you didn't want to break? I thought you were no. going to make sure it read. No, I, I said that I, br I was bringing a second one with in case I break it, and boom, I broke it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was still paying attention to my um, health and the bombers and stuff. I wasn't paying attention to the gun anymore. That's why when it turns red, prepare it. Oh. A lot of bosses. I brought myself a ton of backups uh, anyways, but still, this was the last one that actually has mods on. Ooh, Tom. Oh, no, 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 Plasma, dude. Plasma? Uh, Vulture. Oh. Basically, if you feel explosions, but you can't see the bomb, uh, the drone bomber, then it's a vulture vomiting at you. It's actually super dangerous if we just be standing out here. 
but it's so much more of a vantage point of being able to shoot at the zombies. I want to make a base where they actually have to run in a straight line at you. Thought that's what you were making there in the desert. Yep. But and I'm not even close. Uh, 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 because at the moment it's not even close to being done at the uh, desert place. I was running out of steel, but now that I have all that crop and I can make myself some steel blocks. Well, not steel blocks, I'm gonna upgrade to steel. I still can't believe there was a carbon mine that close to my base. I'm literally basically underneath it. But thanks to it, I'll now be able to make myself a proper base. I'm a little confused. You're gonna make a base there and then go to Winter Biome and make a Winter Biome. No, no, base. single player, I'm gonna go to uh, Winter Biome. Oh, single player! Yeah. Okay, that, now, now that makes it a little better. <laughs> But you just made that. You just fixed up that place. <laughs> and I single mean, how player, much Yeah, in single player, I just um, uh, started a new base. But I, I designed it wrong. The zombies are too close to me. And before I start getting bosses in single player, I want to make sure I have a proper base. Master, we are not alone. Ideally, if I could take a building over and just upgrade it to fully... To full blocks, that'd be awesome. I can't believe that aiming down the site like this is actually draining my water. I mean, obviously also the um, recog that I used. Alright, I gotta go. This bird is driving me Come over here. Where are you? Oh, you spit at me. No stamina at all. Damn. I need to especially kill the bosses or anything that drops red bags. I'm looking for a ton more steel blocks. Starting to climb the other side now as well, which is awesome. Almost never do that. Look at him, for example, just now. He went all the way across instead of going there. But I think it's because they, that block is still there. This one is over here. It's gone. Some of them don't seem to care, though. I took one of the catwalk blocks on the one side out, uh, and most zombies are planting there now. But some don't care that the other side still has a catwalk, they still go for it. I need to drink another recoil. Oh, with my water this side, I don't know if I should. Uh, I made our base 11 blocks high. But I think even if it's 11 high, if it's more than 11, uh, if, it's, if it's closer than 11 to you that they fall, I think sometimes they still rage. That's why most of my bases are 11 blocks away from me and 11 blocks down. So by the time they fall, like, like 15 to 20 blocks away. It's all the bosses I'm, and stuff. What am I? 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, I'm 10 blocks. broke my M60. One of my M60s. <laughs> See how easy it is. <laughs> Even if you remind yourself, repair, 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 uh, forget it. The moment it actually counts, you forget. Hello, boss. Oh, another nemesis. Hello. It's cool how all nemesis zombies can uh, shout like that. Oh, I forgot to. Damn it. You're a boss, you have to go first. Bye bye. Cop, 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 cop. Boo! 
Boom! Man, my I love soon. contact grenades. I should probably try and spec a little bit into explosions and then try and use it. It's funny, I thought I, I'm annoying if I complain like, oh no, this is BS, uh, like, no, 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 in my series. But people actually like it when I do that. <laughs> Whoa, what just hit me? Oh, cop. Okay, repair. And then drink. And Master, then drink. We are not alone. And eat. Oh, you witch. The arrow shoving nurse. I should actually, when I have the time, go through um, Kane's streams of this new version of it, The Hell on Earth. Because I think actually he did like a few streams of it. I uh, did two, yeah, two streams so far. Because then at least I can get some tips, because uh, the notes don't cover everything it seems. Because there's a few things yeah. like with the farming and stuff. Uh, it doesn't, in the, in the notes I didn't see anything about the farming not requiring water anymore. I guess I just missed that part. No, uh, I looked it over and uh, I didn't see anything that said that either. Apparently since the hydroponics don't uh, require water like the way they used to. But then again with the hydroponics you don't get seeds back. You put seeds in and they turn into plants uh, without you getting any seeds back as far as I'm aware. If you make an actual farm then you can actually harvest it with a gardening hoe. Tom Clark, where are you? Yeah, hmm. I'd rather get the seed back and not have this. I have picked up something. That's just me. I went to one of Kane's Alpha 19 um, farming videos. I know it's changed a lot since then, but when I did the way he did it, my grind, my, like it was a ra raised beds, one barrel in between nine plots. It was just, it worked awesome. It's actually a very small horde. Every now and then there's like a boss or a nemesis, but overall, it's very small. I think if I was in a tougher biome. Then, I'm just getting mostly bosses I'm getting bosses every now and then but I've, I guess I've gotten like less than 10 bosses and nemesis put together nope. when I do get these bosses I have to make sure I take those headshots I need those red bags and I'm hoping I'm lucky and I get a ton of steel blocks from them as well well the less I get right now the easier it is to clean up in the morning No, 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 no. Woo! I had a demo and I shot at it and the explosion lit him up. I still feel like if you accidentally hit the button and you kill them, that should still explode. Because the, the explosive isn't tied to his HP, it's tied to the button. Incoming Just imagine that, not being, not being allowed to have them even tick. Because the moment they tick, they're all gonna explode. Why are you giving Kane ideas? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? No. Once an electronic device has been separated, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, but it's not uh, tied to the zombie's house because the zombie's already dead. It's an external device that attached Come to their on. bodies. It's, it's, in, it's if you look at it, it's all the way through. Inside and out. Woo, look at the size of that snake. All of a sudden, I'm getting three bosses. You can see I, I turned 2 a.m. just now. I've, I've noticed Woo! that in this mod, it doesn't take midnight. At like 2 a.m., that's when the bosses and stuff starts coming out. Sometimes you think there's nothing coming, no bosses, nothing. And all of a sudden, 2, p, uh, 2 a.m., boom. I got one of them. Damn. Where is he? I see you. I see you. 
This time I haven't had any um, bunnies. I have three bunnies and two snakes. Yes, hello, Nemesis. Let me just wait till you before your boss music kicks in. There's another pistol wielding dude. Pistol or bolt? Uh, no, uh, bolt, the nurse. Bolts, right? Yep. I haven't seen the shotgun wielding uh, biker yet, though. I've only seen, uh, when it comes to like shooting, I've only seen um, the nurse and Tom. I've seen... Uh, I, I, I saw one shotgun wielding biker. I saw... Uh, Big Mama, she was carrying something. I can't remember what she was Big Mama just has his uh, steel clubs. And then I saw a tourist. Yeah, I've seen the ones with melee weapons, but when it comes to just like guns, it's only the nurse and Tom that I've seen. But that shotgun biker is really a threat, especially in Ways UK mod. You can get it from like day one if you're playing warrior difficulty. And it shoots like an automatic weapon. If it shoots, you're dead. All of a sudden, more and more bosses and nemesis zombies are showing up. That's awesome. If I can face the wood in the desert biome, it's going to be even worse. Even better. Hello, Grace. I've got a bad feeling about this. At least getting armor piercing rounds is actually super easy on this one. Thanks to the ammunition chest. Or uh, ammunition press, I mean. Press. The fact that it doubles your ammo is a major, major win. If it wasn't for that, I'd, I'd be using the, the combo pack thingy. Like making bundles of it, but it still wouldn't be giving as much at the moment. But I think even with that bundle, uh, you still be able to have enough ammo for Ordnite. Well, without it, just takes a little bit long. Ooh, put that cop's head off. Old nurse, bye bye. Ooh, what happened? Bob? Oh, might be AFK. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Are you AFK just now? No, I wasn't. I can't spawn in till 4 o'clock. I'll never make it. Oh wait, I have a mole. I have a terrible. But the birds will get me. Oh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. He's actually bombing what his own I friends. Do? What should I do? What should I do, Gene? What should I do? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> the birds will tear me apart. Peer pressure. Go for it. <laughs> well, how fast no, is your vehicle? I mean, it's, it's, I have a dirt bike. Yeah, that should be fast enough. I was on a bicycle when the vultures started attacking me. Uh, as long as it's a fast vehicle like a buggy or a dirt bike, you should be able to make it back. Where is my dirt bike? I don't Yeah, visualize it before you spawn in. I'm hoping I have a ton of red bear. Oh, you pushed me off. What the hell? And now I don't have stamina. Ooh. I was way too close. My water is basically non existent at the moment. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Damn. That was unlucky. <laughs> that was super, super unlucky just now. Did I drink that water? I think so. Oh, the bike doesn't work during Horde Night. Oh, so it's like Darkness Falls. I'm in trouble. Just log out. It's almost morning. Holy cow, the bikes don't work during Horde Night. <laughs> now we just learned something. Imagine you're busy flying to your Horde base, all of a sudden the thing just drops out the sky. Oh my goodness. Try it, peer pressure, peer pressure. 
Hey, well, you uh, fell for pure friction, not my fault. <laughs> Half an hour, I only get an hour left. Did it say what killed me? Can you check? I just said Hakuba died. Told me that. Could have been an explosion or could have been bleeding. No, I, was, I had full health. I wasn't AFK. I turned my head. Well, you were perhaps in fire or something. Like something hit you with fire and you burnt to death. No, I didn't hear any uh, 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 none of that stuff. You know, the fire? <laughs> I didn't hear any of the fire. The fact that you can't see the nemesis be behind over there, that's a design flaw of this one. I'm gonna make sure that if I make a base in the desert, I'll be able to see downstairs uh, at the back. Well, there's going to be a massive staircase going down, so I won't be able to see, but hopefully the staircase is wide enough for them to make it over. Well, I have the only one, block, for. A one block staircase, and they can make it up the staircase. I've had the fire nemesis come up, and I had the big nem the other nemesis yeah. there. The I'm going to make it so that the nemesis have to go in a straight line, basically, to get to me, so they're more likely to take the stairs. With this base over here, they keep getting stuck behind the wall. Oh yeah, because they hit the wall and stop. Yeah. And they just uh, don't seem to climb any ladders. So my base in the desert is going to have a, a staircase, a five wide staircase, going all the way down to the floor, and then ladders on the side for the normal zombies. It's going to be like a grand kind of base. I only level up three times, but I need more XP elixirs. It seems the higher levels, the harder and harder it gets to level up right now. Of course, that's the way all of them are. No, Darkness Falls. I only level up once. In Darkness Falls, it's from level 1 to 50, it can be slow. And from level 51 to 150, it can be faster now. And now I can make the M60, the laser M60. Can't wait. Yeah, but you have to be level 150 to make it, right? Uh, things like, I think like 120, 130 thereabouts. But just the fact that you can now make that gun is amazing. Your screen just went dark. My screen? Yeah, the screen. My, on my side it did. It's my really side's dark fine. All of a sudden. Oh, your helmet's broken. Uh, That's why there's no light. <laughs> there's no helmet light. It's a bloody spider, I think. That or the one cop that hit me. Literally one cop. I think I can log in now? Yep. I've got a bad feeling about this. That sucked. I was doing so good. Now I have to rework it off. Yeah, I know. I gotta work it off again. Oh my goodness. Okay, drone. Oh yeah, I told you to stay. Let's see, um, nothing with drink on it. Beer doesn't give us any water at all. Okay. Drop that. Okay, that should be enough now. And then you follow. Affirmative. Affirmative. Roger, roger. I hope you find water because that it's at six percent. Yeah. Ooh, twenty steel blocks. Nice. I'd have to loot one of the yellow bags, I think. But overall, I don't care about the water. I care about the steel. Bucket of concrete mix. Nice. Or a concrete pouring bucket. The pallet. Come on, man. I need steel. Steel blocks. I'm just going to do this. Boom. Oh, boy. Let's just fix up my...
I'll ride my bicycle that way. I don't have to bring two things back. Let me check. Oh, I killed the dude away. over here. I could have sworn I killed the one pipe bomber at the back over there. I think the best thing for me would be to reinstall Windows, reinstall all the software like from scratch with free, uh, fresh updates and stuff. That way I can check whether it's the, the software or the PC that's busy going. Well, you would not believe my luck, Bob. No water? No water at all. <laughs> at least I can go to the trader. Oh, there you go. One, one jar. At least I can go to in the uh, to the trader in the morning and just oh no like after this in the morning and just quickly drop some stuff there. Oh, God. Probably bring my copter closer. I'm sure I was lucky as some of you guys in the, uh, getting like a hundred blocks. I think Code and them sometimes get like if they're lucky seventy five blocks plus just from one container. Two or three containers, not one. No, uh, someone actually opened the other day and was like, "Oh, 75. I think the highest I got was like 54 or something. Just let me bring that closer. I need the space. That sucks, I just worked off the death penalty. Ugh. I hope my bags don't despawn. Okay, so now we grab all this and drop it in here. I think the bags won't will be okay. Um yeah, it should be fine for a few in-game hours. It's already been one. And I'm two kilometers from it on a bicycle. Well, the other day when, well, not other day, like a week or two ago when Sam was um, offline and he came back a little bit late. Oh, I just got 73 steel blocks from, uh, from one container. Awesome. <laughs> the funny thing is I was like, oh, everyone else is getting 70. I actually think I said 73 or did I say 75? I said 75. Oh, okay. I was about, about to say, oh, damn, that's uh, some psychic stuff there. But yeah, basically he was away from uh, keyboard or AFK or something uh, when we had to log back in for the rewards. And the uh, uh, containers actually lost it quite a bit. I think it was like five to six or seven in-game hours or something. Incoming enemies, prepare for in the end, I decided to go and loot the stuff for him just in case he doesn't make it back in time. We had to go back with uh, three or four people to El Barrio. Let's do it on our own. Do you mean just for the amount of loot, or do you uh, mean like for the amount of zombies? For both. I mean, I want to. I want to complete it. I want to see what the end is like. I want to see where it goes. There's dungeons. And this is. You know what I mean? It's got to be the biggest POI on the map. It's a tier six that's not radiated. I don't understand that. We need to go on to his uh, Discord and tell him about the weapons. He's got to do something about upgrading the weapons better than an M60. Yeah, the tier 4s are supposed to... I feel, personally, a tier 4 weapon is supposed to do more damage but have less ammo. But for some reason, tier 4 weapons are just crap. Right. The overall damage and everything of a tier 4 is so much weaker than, uh, than a M60. I don't know, I think you should be able to put mods in it. Yeah, you can put mods in them, but even then they're weaker than the M60. So overall, for example, uh, what will make a tier 4 gun awesome is if it packed a massive punch and just had like limited uh, ammo that you can put in. Like the one can only do like 20 ammo, 
But in that case, since it's a T4 gun, it should do insane damage. Because technically, right. these M60s are just tier 1s. I think I got all the bags. I don't see anything hidden in like a crevice or anything at the back of here. Okay. That was it for the loot. Not too bad. How many steel blocks was that? What, you got 130 or something like that? I got quite a bit. Let me just quickly see. Uh, 117. Still. And then the concrete pouring buckets, I have 27. But overall, it's actually really good. I mean, it's 117 blocks you don't have to make or upgrade. Yep. Okay, I actually want to see if I can't sell some of this stuff as well before I go back. <laughs> I got a helmet light mod from this uh, loot. The game's like, oh, I see you lost that. Let me just give this back to you. But it didn't give you a level 916 helmet. 955. 955. God, I mean, I have, have a 901 at the base. Once. Yeah, but I didn't have repair kits on me. <laughs> I don't even know if I have any military repair kits. I have to go and make it on wow. right now. It's a shame it doesn't just have... require normal repair kits. So much easier. I, I have nine left. Yeah, well, he didn't want to make this mod easy, did he? I think this is my new favorite mod. I mean, I like Darkness Falls. I liked Undead Legacy, too. I've never played Rebirth. That one is a really fun one as well. I think on a server, especially the Alpha 20 version would have been awesome on a server. With all the new changes though, I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to run on multiplayer. Well, especially if you have like level 6 in most of your classes and you can... I don't know if you saw those passive effects. Basically at level 6 you get like an awesome attack for a class. And if you have multiple classes level 6, all you can use all of their attacks. So they, he was showing one of these March video where a zombie hit him. And, like, uh, a rain of arrows and stuff just rained down on the zombies instantly. So, that kind of thing, I think that's gonna... I, I'm kind of curious to see how the lag is on a server. It did say in the video they're having bugs at the moment that they're struggling to sort out. But the moment they have that figured out, basically, they want to release it. Oh, I got quite a few bags here. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you do Okay, back to the base. I only got one level on that board. I think I only got three, but it's because of my learning elixir. And I am almost three quarters in the XP I have to make up. I, I kind of calculated it out. If I hadn't died this many times, I'd be the highest level on the server. Yeah, 26 deaths. Especially with the amount of XP, especially the later levels, the amount of XP you have to repay, rework. That's a lot. That's basically 23 to 25 extra levels. Yep. <laughs> Who's the highest level at the moment? Cool. What level is he? I thought it would be Iron oh, Man, though. 20. Oh, no, no, Iron Man. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I get them mixed up? I don't know. 120 something? 130 something? Yeah, 131 I think it is. I need to level. The moment I have a proper horde base. See, I want to make it so that uh, scores and scores of zombies can just go straight up to me and face me. Um, at the moment, uh, with the current design that I have here, they have to climb a ladder or they have to turn around and do the tricks and stuff. And by the time they get to the top where you have to shoot them, there's just like a small amount of zombies. The same a massive amount of zombies that are downstairs trying to climb the ladder, that's what I want coming straight at me so it's easier to shoot them. But I think I'll definitely be able to make like a, I played 100 days in Ravenous with my single player series. Because I'm basically now at day... It's... I think I've faced the day 63 hordes. I'm basically at like day 67, 70, 67, 67, 68, they're about. The last horde I faced, I calculated as like the uh, ninth horde, so it's time 7. Like March something, March 25th or something. So it's uh, 63. 
And that was when uh, the Horde, uh, well, it's the beginning of the week, that was the Horde, so it should be now 67, 66. Yeah. I mean, that's gonna, it's gonna keep on going until it goes, but I mean, like, at least 100 days I'll be able to survive in it. So I'll be able to make a video if I survive the 100 days. And hi, oh, I just realized, <laughs> hey Iron Man and hey uh, Brokash, welcome to the stream. How do you get the vehicle parts in this game? For example, when I try to do 4x4, I need a bunch of static accessories. Yeah, I like Iron Man, and so like Victor says, you have to use a crowbar. So you wrench a vehicle with a crowbar. Early game, if you can get a really good crowbar, it uh, doubles as a wrench. And, I don't know if you know this, but if you hold a wrench or a crowbar in your hands, not a wrench, uh, a claw hammer or a crowbar in your hands, you can rip the boards off of containers in 2 seconds, not 10. So I, I really like carrying around a crowbar early game. You can open up containers super fast and you can wrench vehicles. You get all those vehicle stuff that you usually get with a wrench and you get those extra accessories. Also, um, you don't just have to do vehicles for those parts. All over the map, like in the... Let me just see if I can... Yeah, like on the corners over here, sometimes there's like cars broken down and there's usually like a seat and stuff next to the vehicle as well. You can technically go and pick those up as well with a crowbar. But you don't have to just look for the vehicles. Just go for any wreck that you see and just use a crowbar. I might just overshoot this this time. Nope. Oh, perfect. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. You can get the bladed mod from the tractors when you use a crowbar, I'll range them. Yeah, that's actually a nice thing as well. Isn't it the tempered blade or is it... Yeah, it's a tempered blade, isn't it? Or is it the rated blade? I think it, it can be either one of the two that you can get from that. I think I should definitely in my current Darkness Souls series, because so far I've been playing it um, careful because of all the restrictions. Uh, someone actually commented and said the reason why I'm unable to sometimes place blocks while I'm running is because the game thinks I'm in combat mode against a zombie and it doesn't allow me to place. So it actually makes sense. Uh, there's one bathroom that I go into and there's a zombie, that, a feral zombie that comes to me and I want to try and block off a doorway and it doesn't allow me to. It's like nerd polling. It deletes the block. And I think it's when there's any active event of a zombie trying to get to you, you can't place blocks. I wonder if it actually helps, uh, like, if you're trying to put a ladder down, whether that's going to help or not. The thing is, because I know I know how the suffering can be in Darkness Falls, and I have died so many times in the Hardcore Insane series, I really don't want to die that much in this one. Especially since every death it takes you back to 50 wellness. That's insane. There's still so many limitations that I have yet to discover in my current series. Oh, Iron Man, um, uh, perhaps you have tested this because you usually test stuff like this. In Darkness Falls, apparently you don't consume water anymore for a farm. So someone told me, why don't I just go to Razor, pick up the farm plots, place it down next to a water source, and then I have a farm. Um, uh, uh, like, for example, if you pour water out into the field, it's not going to suck up all the water growing the farm. I don't know if it's now, if it, if it's now like that because of the hydroponics. Or if it's only like that with the hydroponics and you actually have to still have irrigation. I want to make sure that I don't just uh, pick up all the farm plots and then I need the irrigation from Razor. <laughs> you want to see what death gives me. It's going to give me suffering. That's what it's going to give me. Okay, so I need to get another armor mod. Oh crap. No, 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 hello. Yeah, that music, I don't want that music playing. Please die. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so basically over here, it's going to be a long run. And from here, it's just going to be a staircase straight down. But I might make like a pyramid kind of design. Only two rows, but this should be enough. Eh.
Okay, now I can finally start working on my base. Also, Iron Man, it seems we don't need nodes for carbon. I literally over here just went down. Look at this. I just went down like this. Went about 20 blocks out. And look at all the carbon over here. Tons and tons and tons of carbon. So uh, what they said on the Discord uh, is right. You don't have to worry about nodes, just mine. If it doesn't use water, that's going to help me a lot. Because then I can make a base close to Jen's. Although I think I might just make a base in a, a snow biome this time. With all those mountain lions and direwolves and stuff is going to add to the challenge. But it also is going to give me some meat. Because the map I'm using isn't a normal Darkness Falls map. There's a ton of, um, what do you call it, uh, demon portals and stuff all over. But there's not like a set amount of buildings and stuff to choose from. Okay, so I think most of the stuff's still in the helicopter upstairs. Low steel. Okay, I need to put way more iron in there. The nice thing is we have so many iron pellets. Brass, 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 iron. One, two, three. There you go. As soon as this is done crafting, I can smelt these in faster again. Although I can still make a little bit more steel over here. Building. Now I quite have quite a bit of steel blocks as well, so I should probably first use those up a bit. Oh, I was busy saying before I heard that boss music. I need to put on a helmet. Are you kidding me? I deleted that helmet when I came here because I didn't have enough space. So I have to make a new one. There you go. Military helmets. And I need to make a uh, military repair kit as well. Repair, military. Let's make a full 14. Because I need to repair the four items I have on me now. And then I have repairs as well. I'm hoping there's just a connection loose or something. Every now and then my screen just goes... It's like an interference running. I wonder if it's not perhaps my... Oh, it can't be my phone. It almost looks like interference, run, uh, interference running across the screen. 450. I'm basically never going to run out of ammo. Look at that. 32,000 tips. 16,000 gunpowder. 32,000 casings. All I need to do is make sure that I make myself a ton of gunpowder or go mining... Happening more and more now. Um, did I touch the screen? Oh, it's at that side. This is a new screen, so I'm hoping this one doesn't uh, go bye bye as well. I actually wish that our elections over here will not happen. Or like it's going to take years to um, happen. Just because of the fact that so far we haven't had load shedding thanks to the upcoming elections. <laughs> it's been, uh, I think, almost two weeks now without any power outages, which is awesome. Compared to us having a daily. I still think the only reason YouTube is demonetizing my stream is because they pick up uh, political talk every now and then. They love censoring. There was in the previous stream, I can't even remember looking at one of the naked ladies. Oh, naked ladies. She's not really naked. She's wearing a, a, a top that's just wet. For this stream, I actually went and scheduled it with the same setting as my very first stream that didn't have any demonetization on it. I want to see if that actually helps. Seeds. 
I need to start making myself a farm as well. Okay, I keep getting first aid kits, but I almost never use them. Okay, so I need to place that, that. What was the other one that was on my helmet? It was a helmet light mod. Customized fittings. The advanced uh, muffler connections. And what else, else on there? Oh, the armor. There you go. I have to be careful because armor can break. Wait. Oh, it's still on me. It didn't break. It's just completely, it doesn't work. So it stops at zero uh, durability, but it doesn't break it at all. That's awesome. So basically, I just made myself a headpiece for no reason. Although, I just lost 50 durability on this. Hello, guys. Hey, Iron Man. Can you uh, hear the fan in the background? No. Nope. Okay, good. I think as long as it doesn't point straight at the mic, then uh, we don't hear it on our side. get to play now. Jeez, I played all yesterday. I was wondering why you weren't on. Oh, water heater sprung a leak. Ooh. So that's a mess I cleaned up. Drying out the area and gotta pay $700 to go get another one. Damn. 21? What did I run out of? Limestone. I went a couple years ago and then it was... It was terrible. It's, it's, we lost so much stuff. Well, luckily, mine's in a place downstairs in the basement where the washing room is, so it's concrete floors. So that helps out a lot. It's just a lot of crap and stuff's gotta get moved around your, and cleaned up. Was your stuff up on stuff? It, uh, sort of, kind of, but I caught it early enough because I was doing oh, the dishes. Okay. I had hot water. I went to go take a shower. It was lukewarm, which is okay. I, I like it like that. And then, I, this is no lie. I get soaked up, and it turns ice freaking cold. So I'm jumping, doing a little hopping in the it's nice shower, shower, trying to hurry up and get all the soap off and get the heck out of there. Then I go downstairs, and sure enough, the bottom of it sprung a leak, and it's popping out pretty good. And I shut off all the water lines. It's gas. I turn the gas off and all that stuff. And then uh, I've been working about 10 hours a day at work. Really busy. A lot going on. Ooh, I wonder if you guys get as much... Yeah, you do get limestone over here still. Yeah, what I need okay, to do I now is mine that. a ton of stone because I need uh, limestone. I need iron. I, I got one shot. Of, give me some more I got iron. one shot again in Horde Iron Man. From... It didn't say. It just said he died. Huh, that's I weird. have no idea. It was just like, boom. first I'm getting ready to. I reloaded my M60, Wait. and the next thing I know, I'm dead. You weren't on fire or anything? Fine. Nope. Because sometimes if you die from either the AOE explosion from the enemy or fire that then kills you, ticks, you know, it ticks down to kill you, it just says you died. That's the only way I know of uh, where it just says you died. Although. That happened to me too, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Rogash, we're actually using a craft from container modlet that we downloaded from Nexus Mods. Uh, so just say craft from container and Nexus Mods, and you should be able to get the same version. Because, yeah, I really getting wish stuff every... out of the boxes. <laughs> I really wish every mod would do something similar. It doesn't have to be the same thing. Yeah. But something similar to what Darkness Falls had. The upgrading I'm thing. not... Yeah, the craft from containers. Yeah, the upgrades, yeah. Because I don't really like just giving it, being given it, you know, as a modlet. But yeah. yet, that's the only way in Ravenhurst. How I, it just makes especially with the multiple of screens that, of resources you need. Yeah, and it's only stacks of five hundred, so yeah, it's probably it, it's it's worth it. But have something where you got to work toward it, or you got to put some skill points into it. And it kind of fixes it as well. Because in the hardcore insanity that I tried, I didn't get any of those errors that popped up usually when we upgraded them. Unless that's just a multiplayer thing. 
I want you to get the void one. I want to see what that does. Uh, unfortunately, that's like uh, level 100, level 100 and something to be able to get that. Oh, laser wait, tech. It's level locked. Yep, it's level. Uh, it's uh, laser tech. No, it's for late oh. game. It makes okay. sense because otherwise it's gonna be too easy looting places. Later, I you have to get a ton of resources. Talk just fell since the server, and I'm I'm not gonna play because I know we'll probably end up putting it on a server here at some point. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait till that happens and then have the surprise and watch you do your videos and hopefully you'll die a couple times so I can see what happens. <laughs> Even Sam commented, "That's not hell on earth." Yeah, it's not. But early game, but just imagine Darkness Falls. Having to die from day one already, getting stuck on 50 wellness. Well, no, that's the time you want to die, though, on day one. Because then when you die, you're only at 50 wellness and everything's not going to one-shot you. You die on day 100, you're screwed. Literally. Because you're not facing any of the regular... Yeah, but by day 100, zombies. you have the stuff to make up for it. It'll be time-based, you know? He reduced all the wellness amount that the food gives you and everything, so... You're gonna have to spend a couple in-game days just trying to get it up. Did you uh, check to see what the duration is? You know, because he's got that. Oh, that's right too. You can't do the one wellness, then the two wellness, and the three wellness anymore. You can't do that. Wait, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's in, the, it's in the um. I think it's in the patch notes. So you used to be able to get like the the green, blue, and purple drinks, and they all added wellness. Now you can't do that anymore. Yes. Yeah. Oh crap. Yep. See, sometimes I read yeah, things, but I, I don't guess. know what I'm reading until I actually experience it in game. I think that's the, cur just... uh, the curse of not being English. Sometimes I just under don't understand certain ways of someone explaining something. You reduced the amount of wellness for beer. I haven't seen you get a beer yet to see what it's at. Four wellness. I think yeah. Beer I think used basically to be everything, even the wellness from uh, vitamins, I think they yeah. reduced from three to two or something, but. It also, the time it took for the vitamin to run out, they reduced as well. Maybe he did the same thing with uh, everything else. Reduced the amount of time to food in the water. Oh, well, why can't I? Maybe there's a... That'd be cool if you put a perk. You had a perk for that. Reduce that. That'd be really cool. Reduce the amount of time you take before you can get uh, another vitamin or something. Before you, before you can use another food or another drink. Yep. Don't make it, like, huge. Just... Maybe take 10% off, 20% off. Um, do 20%. you have a titanium pickaxe? Yeah, in the mod. Uh, Tungsten, I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are you in the uh, forest biome? Yes. Can you try and smack one stone block underground and just see how much lime you get for it? Yeah, still logging in. Is I think the dead right now. Because I think uh, because of the, um, the sandstone, I'm not getting as much limestone as with actual stone. Because after all that mining oh, just now, yeah. I basically only got like 1.5k limestone. That's very little. Oh, you've been mining for like an in-game hour. That's very little limestone compared to what I used to get. Yeah. Limestone's usually something you toss because you just get too much of it. Yeah. Especially the halite. I, I never really use the halite anymore. I don't either. I just toss it. My senses have picked Jesus. up something. That's the salt one, right? Yep. You can only make so much salt before you <laughs> have too much salt. Well, you don't even need it. I mean, what do you use the salt for anymore? You, you don't need, need a, to jerk you it. Need salt. You need salt for a lot of recipes. Uh, I, I Cook found, uh, the, what is this? Grilled steak. That's probably one of your best recipes. Or best food. Easy to make. Doesn't take salt. And it stacks to 50. So you just carry like, that around and you're done. I like trying to make all the recipes just to see what they do. You oh, yeah. I mean? There's one recipe that gives you 80 food, but it takes away 25 um, water. Damn. <laughs> and it gives you yeah. eight, 8 wellness. But you just drink an icy with that. The food you eat, and you're all set. Oh, come on with these rocks. Oh, 
I have such a headache right now. From what's right, that? I got Huh? Headache from what? I get migraines. Being married, I mean, okay. Being married. There is that. Where I hear tools. you? Where are you? Oh. Hey. Let me get that pickaxe. I waste a little bit of time doing it right now, damn. Hmm. Oh, wait. Wrong window. It's still only showing that much, which means I basically already got that value. That's a shame. Victor, are you gonna make that castle oh, there, there with Tesco? Tedesco? Yeah. Right I'm just been uh, busy trying to get all my resource sources so I could just go over there and do nothing but build. What's what you gonna say, Reese's Pieces? <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Um, Man, I've been yeah. pretty busy at work and real life stuff going on. I get it. Working the weekends. So I got I got 83 uh, steel out of my horde night. That was it. So pretty decent. John got 117. Well, it was very little, wow. very little, and then all of a sudden, for the one I got, um, 73. The one bag. I'm saying, oh, you guys are getting lucky. Some of you actually have uh, already had like 75 per bag, and all of a sudden, I get that 73. Like the game says, fine, here you go. Well, picking you whining, here it is. Yeah, so this walkway, I want to see where this. On the outside, it needs to be the two pillars. Uh oh. So when you drop down over here, on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so I need to go and use steel blocks. On the outside of- No! Damn it, what I do? Oh, I placed two of them wrong. Uh, I'll fix that later. <laughs> oh, it's not the middle blocks, it's the corner blocks. Okay, a second. Oh, that's gonna hurt to watch, looking at that the whole time. Especially with steel being 20,000 HP in this mod. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there was a way to easily break steel and stuff if you misplace it. Now this thingy needs to go. Sorry, I've still got items in my inventory. Oh, yeah, you have a lot of steel in your inventory. Let me see if I can't make a few pallets of here again. Stone pallet. Seven. And seven. You do that, as long as you're out of my way. Okay, now that the drone's out of the way, it's so much easier. Placing these.
Okay, so I'm face level with this, which means I need to go one block up. I don't want to fall off. So close to sliding off of here. Okay, then copy shape. Copy rotation. Moment of truth. Did I do this right? We really go through a lot of gun repair kits. Yep, and they're also so expensive to make. Okay. Oh, they're not that bad. Let's see. On the one hand, I want to be able to see the staircase, so I'm going to fashion make two staircases. Then from the middle, I don't know. Basically, I want to be able to stand over here and just shoot the zombies straight as they're coming straight at us. Yep. Before that, I want to make a staircase going down to the west side, but like as wide as both of these put together. The only problem is if I let the two staircases touch each other going down, if there's something back there doing damage, we won't be able to see it. But if I make each of them go down with the staircase and then widen the staircase to the outside, at least from a certain angle, I'll be able to see on top of the stairs. I wonder if I make the stairs like three thick each. I can, put, uh, I can even put ladders and stuff on the side then to help out. I misplaced that block as well. Oh, three steel blocks that need to be replaced. And I wonder what's going to be best, because I want to have a nice, uh, wide enough walkway for all the zombies to just pile on through. So that, that's why I think, like, one massive staircase will do the trick. Oh, to the side. And also, I'm technically thinking of making the staircase just go straight down diagonally. Oh, not, not straight down, but just diagonally down. So that, um... Yeah, well, then again, if I make the staircase over here... Even though there's pillars over here, it'll, it'll allow me to shoot any zombies that want to cause trouble on the sides. Hmm. I'm gonna see something. Can I see the side? I should be able to shoot next to the side of here if they climb up the ladder there. So I could make a ladder going up here and a ladder going up there. And then staircases on the outside. So if they fall down, they go for either ladder on the inside. Ideally, I can make a massive staircase going up over there, turning and curving. Because the more staircases, the wider the staircases, I think the easier the zombies would move. The ladders, I'm actually... I, I was a huge fan of ladders in the past, but now most of the zombies... I don't know if it's broken AI in 21, but a lot of the zombies just stand still on ladders and just smack stuff. They even come on top of here. There's like literally nothing in between you and them. And then just go and they smack the floor. So it makes it really I don't hard have to any decide. problem with the ladders. My That's ladders, they I keep going for ladders. the side. I don't know why they keep going for the side with me. Because if you're, uh... The way your, um, base is set up for the... Dis- or not the distance, the height. Yeah. If you're at the same height as the top of the ladder, they'll do that. So I must be a little you, bit higher than the ladder. One block, yes, and all, it's very easy to do. All you gotta do is put plates. That's all. I, I thought that might base. be the. I, I, even in single player, I actually mentioned that I think that might be the cause. But it's weird how they just stop in the middle of nowhere on the ladder and yeah. just start smacking the ladder. It's almost like they glitch out because now that they've crawled up that tall, that distance, and now they're at bait level with you, it's like they're confused where to go next. So they take a couple swings and. Some move on, some just stay there and swing. Ooh. Okay, copy shape. I wonder if they'll still climb the ladders if there's no solid blocks behind the ladders. Because I'm thinking of making a design in such a way where if they try and break a ladder or break the blocks behind the ladder, there are no blocks. So that's why I'm thinking of uh, taking this down diagonally and having the ladders just hang from the top to the bottom. But if they destroy the ladders, sorry, there's no more walkway there, go for the stairs. Because I've seen in my single player series, uh, they even at the, the base here and the uh, forest biome, 
Sometimes they destroy the ladder and then they go into the staircase itself and just get stuck behind the ladder. I need to try well, to account for that. Supposedly, they are supposed to be more receptive to the stairs than they are to a ladder. Oh, this is going to bother the hell out of me. Because it, uh, it was advanced rotation, not single. Look at the mismatch over here. Over here, the light block is on the top, on the top, on the top, and over here, the light blocks are, or the uh, light block is thicker, and this, it's upside yeah, I'd down. Have to get rid of that. Upside down. <laughs> oh. Okay, so basically, you have to go simple rotation and just flip it right, uh, right way up. Oh, that really? Just, just, paint, just paint the whole thing, and you're done with it. You don't have to break anything down. But I'll know it's there. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's just silly. Well, okay. uh, look at this. Do you think I should break these out or just paint over them? <laughs> paint. Absolutely paint. Well, paint would be easier, but you're always going to Over these that are there. sticking out. Oh, the ones sticking oh. out? <laughs> oh, I didn't no. see that. <laughs> Okay, that That's looks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, get rid of that, of course. But you said paint, so I'm gonna paint it. <laughs> I think I more than, uh, need more than just a little bit of paint to cover that up. <laughs> you sure do, goodness. Even this one over here, I didn't even notice that I placed the third one wrong. Okay, let's see how long this is going to take. I do just under 500 damage per hit. So that is... No, times no, no, two, no, no, that's no. 40. That's about 60 times I have to hit one block just to break it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny. Oh, hello, Wandering Horde. Do you have in pistols in your hand? No, you don't. Come on, straight line. Tom Clark runs like he has pistols in his hands. Like he's a surgeon uh, getting ready for a surgery. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Oh, hello. You know what I got for a reward? Bro, what? Level 1, I got a re level 1,000 training helmet for a reward. Uh, what was a reward for? Finishing my level 5s. Level, level 5 or level 6. I'm not sure. I you took a mining bundle. I got a level 1,000 shotgun for... I think it was tier 6. I took the mining bundle because everything else was crap. It was money and it's just like, eh, let's see what the mining bundle gives me. You know? Okay. It'd be so cool if I can get a sponsor for like the second rig that I need for streaming. Someone actually said that they, uh, they have, but they have a uh, NVIDIA 4070, so it's actually a really strong uh, GPU. But uh, he apparently has like eight other modlets with um, Ravenhurst, and he's not getting any errors. And he's also the zombie set like Max. Not any errors, he's not getting any lag. But with me, I'm getting so much stutter, just even in single player. But that's why I think it's to do with my OBS. Oh crap, he just had to scream. There. Basically, I just need like a, a second hand rig, a cheap rig with a really decent um, CPU, and that can handle my streaming. And then the GPU, this PC, will handle the gameplay. There's something wonky with the zombie's right legs. 
And it's not just this zombie, it's all of these fancy zombies. When they take a step, look at that, it bugs out. Oh. It's just for you. Nobody else notices it. Looks like a, um, like a, a broken leg or something just buckling as they're walking. Hey, Finnick, welcome to the stream. It's a shame that these pickaxes take so much stamina. Or at least that the auger isn't better, because then you can just break out these blocks with the augers. Don't really need the auger. Just resource gathering is pretty We're just for like easy. clearing stuff for the speed of it. Yeah, for clearing, yeah. But these picks are so much more powerful, you can just well use the pick. You can still replace those, but that'd be fine for now. Yeah, I think I should probably put a few frames in the middle of there. Twenty-two limestone. Twenty-five limestone. Twenty-two. Yeah, between twenty-two and twenty-five limestone is what I get. I only get fifteen of here, so I think it's definitely to do with a uh, sandstone. Wait, I said I'm if not gonna any... add the stairs. Okay, I can I can combine them in the middle like this. But from year on, I'm going to have to make the stairs go down on their own. I'm hoping this is not going to get in the way from me being able to see from over there to down here. Okay, um... We get upstairs for the rest. At least I have enough steel now to actually start doing some actual base building. I was waiting for either more steel blocks, so that means more Horde Knights. Or I needed to have actual steel, and for that I needed a farm. Or a mine, I mean. Who knew that the carbon was right underneath me? And I still have so much left. But it's still only located in the... Deserts, Desert yeah. Break. Yeah. Okay. But it is definitely just dig down and look for it and you're gonna find it really easily. I was actually surprised it was like literally right underneath my base. Okay, uh, yeah, I might need to break this out later. Ugh. Because when the zombies climb the ladders at the back, I won't be able to see when they get to the very top. Oh well, okay, for now... I'll go down one in the middle. Actually, make it this way. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to place a wooden uh, pole from the bottom up to be able to deal with this. But basically, I'm gonna make a walkway go this way. The ladders should go like three or four blocks or rows. Just before we start going down, I'm going to put a pillar underneath this. The reason I'm only doing one, I should probably do the middle one first, going down. Because then I can upgrade to steel and then put concrete on the sides and upgrade that as we go up. Hey, John. Yep. How much longer are you going to be recording? Uh, at least I mean, two more hours. Oh, good. Alright. You go eat. Yeah, time to eat. I can go one, yeah, two. Forget to break these out. Garlic bread. Yeah. Now I already regret placing these blocks here. Damn. I don't want to put the ladder on site. Well, then again, if they path properly, it shouldn't be too bad. If I go one, two, three, I can even put one over here and then hope they break these out for me. And then from there, we go, from that block over there, we can go straight down. I wonder if I should use stairs though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use stairs from the start. One, two, three, four. One, two. 
one, two. Yeah, I'm hoping nothing comes by that can actually burn stuff because I'm going to use wood to keep the poles propped up for now. One, two, three, four, so two more. I could probably have ladders on the outside as well. But then I'll have to make... Uh, the nice thing is on this side I can make more windows to be able to see on the side. So I can definitely put ladders on this side as well. Be back in a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. So technically... Yeah, but I want to be able to see the, uh, this staircase at least from the window. Because when they fall down, I'm going to force them all to fall to the middle. So they're definitely going to use these ladders more than the outside ladders. Be careful about the weight distribution at the bottom as well. Four should be more than enough. Only problem is because these two rows over here are now being held up by the pole over there, going down is going to be so much more weight. Now I can do the two middle stairs together going down, and then as soon as I run out I can start switching to concrete, and then just upgrade to steel. I swear, after tonight's stream, if they say that the stream has been uh, demonetized, I'm going to fight it this time, because this time uh, I have proof that uh, nothing weird was on the stream or anything. I keep saying it's not suitable for all advertisers. I wonder why it didn't seem... There's just the last five or so streams, though. That's why I'm wondering now. I told the Bob, I think it might be uh, political based. Because, uh, but just like, it's like two or three minutes every stream that we've just talked about uh, politics and stuff, and even like South African politics. And it seems that just triggers the, um, oh, the yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, politics could, yeah. So I'm going to see now, just saying the word politics, whether that's going to be enough for her to say, oops, sorry. This time I haven't seen any of those naked girls, or those naked girls. So it can't be anything to do with nudity. Uh, the violence it can't be that because it's been all my videos and other streams are fine. Kind of curious to see what they're gonna say it is. Okay, so let's go from the outside of here to uh, no one block in. The fact that we can jump so high is awesome. Although in Darkness Falls it's going to be much much harder not being able to nerd pole. And you don't have the same ability over there to be able to jump like of multiple blocks high. Yeah, that, that is pretty cool. Being able to jump that high. This is why I hope that there's nothing that uh, shoots fire or can set stuff alight come past over here. Because these two pillars, at least until I have the pillars connect or the staircase connected with the bottom over there. This is massive. Truly, truly massive build. Okay, now I wonder if it's going to be possible... I want to see if it's going to be possible for me to go, actually go down from the top or if I should do it from the bottom. But placing frames like I do of here, I have to go 2, 4, 6, 8 just to be able to get up. It's going to take a long time. Then again, it's just, just as slow as having to aim from the top down. Basically, it has to be a staircase on top. This rotation. And it has to be a ramp underneath. 
this rotation advanced like so yeah so basically what we're going to be doing i could probably do it from over there but i should probably do it from underneath do it from that that should work yeah we can do this it's gonna be a ramp block pool block stairs as you continue with this, um, but the the the, whole, the ramp block will have to do from the bottom, it seems. You can't do that from the top. Oh, that's gonna suck. I can do the full block because there's only two blocks over there. I can do the full block in the staircase, but the block underneath that it needs to be attached to, that's gonna be a problem. I think I might have a ton of wooden blocks somewhere in the base. I'm hoping I put it either in miscellaneous or building blocks. Yeah, awesome. Okay, the tedious way it is. Although if I can do it right, I can place blocks and upgrade them as I go down. One, two, three, four, three, four, one, two. Okay, so from over here, we're going to place the full block. Uh, ramp block. I moved it now. Damn. Okay. Full block. Ramp block. Full block. Ramp block. And on top of that, we can put the stairs. Probably try and upgrade it as soon as I can. The sooner I upgrade it, the stronger it is, and the, the less it will be likely to actually cave in right now. Steel is better at holding up steel than concrete is. Yeah, but not by much, is it? Yeah, by a lot. Dumb. Concrete can really? only hold 12 blocks and a total mass of 120. Steel blocks can hold, I think, 300 and something. Oh. So do that, do that. Do that, do that. I think it's gonna reach the, the distance limit before it's gonna read the weight uh reach the weight limit. Oh no, I'm wrong. There's yellow already. Okay, so over here has to be a ramp block. And then straight underneath that I can put some more wooden blocks. Like so. Now I should technically be able to take that out over there and it shouldn't affect the structural integrity. I'll rather wait until I have a full solid staircase on the bottom of the other. See if these stairs keep going all the way down and then on the side we have ladders coming up then that should actually give a chance for a lot of zombies to make it up at the same time. So then really if that's the case with the steel versus concrete you really want to have your steel for your your base. Yep. Your the base foundation. That means I might have to get more steel. Um, well, well, obviously it has way more durability because uh, concrete only has 5 durability compared to steel's 20. But just holding, being able to hold weight, I love building like my pillars, the walkways, the pathing for the zombies, all that in steel. If it has to bear any kind of load, then um, that's usually steel. Yeah, I want to make a solid thing at the back of here as well. I'm just hoping the Titan or the Titans. I keep saying Titans for some reason. I'm hoping the um, Nemesis zombies don't get stuck at the back of here. That's going to be bad. I should make this. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Three, four. Five. Okay, now I can build from the top down for that one as well. The rest we can actually place on the sides now, so it's going to be much, much easier. Like looking over the edge, we can actually place all of those going up, basically. So, you do this, you jump one. 
You do this, you jump one. As soon as you have the one up slightly, it helps so much. Be careful though, because as you're backing up, if you fall down a block and place a block, it counts as nerd bowling. Oh, I'm kind of messed up just now. I should probably get those to steal first. Oh. Oh. Back in there. Wow, he just came out of nowhere. Ooh, that was a bit of a stutter. Oh, come on. As I placed it, I just uh, I moved a little bit. At least it's concrete that I'm placing, so it's way easier to break. Yeah, that's for sure. If I can just get the one staircase done for now, at least I'll have a hood base by the next hood. And I should also do the walls and stuff as soon as possible. It just takes one zombie coming out of nowhere right now to smack this wooden pillar and I lose so much steel. The sooner I let this touch the floor, the better. Technically, you want a ramp next to your staircase as well. They do take the ramp as well, but they're more likely to take the stairs. Rather than standing on the corner and then smacking the sides of the base. I've actually seen a design where the ramp on the side was slightly elevated above the staircase, and they preferred the ramp over the stairs. Hmm. It's at that gun... it's a gun store POI, like a very thin, skinny gun store. Um, with like a bunker underneath the steel doors. And there's a, usually vultures on the top. There's not really a, a, a shotgun messiah POI. It's a bunker type thingy with like a shotgun sign on top. Probably have these turn in a bit. Should be fine. Okay, so from over here, this staircase is going to keep going down, but I'm thinking of making a floor. You have to go down on this side as well. I want to be uh, able to turn it from this side too. So zombies from this side could choose staircase or ladder. Might be able to go down a little bit more before I do that. Although this is the height of the other uh, tight, uh, the other nemesis zombie, so this should be fine. Hmm, I might have a little horde out here. I think let's just let this touch the floor over here. Now that it's touching the floor, now I'm able to actually remove this pillar and that pillar and it should hold up. I hope. Over there is basically just that one pillar on this side holding most of that staircase up. But from the bottom, it's four blocks holding it up. So it should hold really nicely. 
Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if I'm going to lose a ton of resources or not. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. And I'm also going to be adding the stairs. I could actually put another pole perhaps on this side. Perhaps those very thin ones touching each other sideways. But at the same time, I don't want too much weight being distributed over here. I think this should be fine. As long as there's no massive explosions on this side over here, it should be fine. I could perhaps potentially later take uh, out, for example, those blocks there and make like a ramp going to the side so I'll hold up the weight. That's a future thing. For now, as long as, long as it holds up for now, that's fine. Okay, so the stairs are going to be five, uh, four wide and four long. So that means two, three, four. And then the stairs are going to go on from a beer again. Two, three, four. And out of steel on me. Ooh, food and water is getting a little bit low. Just a little bit. Okay, food. I'm just going to eat something that fills me up all the way. And then steel. Oh, are you kidding me? I wasn't crafting any, uh, in any steel. No, I thought I had some steel over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm hoping this is just like, oh, well, there might be power surges. Every now and then my screen throws um, static across the, like in a long line across the screen. I'm hoping it's not going out. This is the screen that I replaced the other screen with. We have this one going. Oh. <laughs> so that's a new one. Yep. And just all of a sudden, because I, uh, I turned on the PC before stream, it was fine. Now that now that I'm just playing the game, I'm getting like stuff like that happening. I'm hoping it's just related to like the game itself. I have so many concrete blocks. I just don't have the steel to go with it. Time to make some steel. Make about six forges. At the moment, I only have this one. But I'm making like at the, at one stage at a time for like five thousand. Carbon and clay and stuff super easy to put inside. The clay pellets take an hour something to smell down. Hour 18. Compared to the iron, but that only give, takes like 15. But it's because they... they give you 10,000. Yeah. It's basically... Iron gives you one in the forge, and clay gives you five. That's the reason why. But now without a crucible in there... Well, not crucible, bellows. It's two hours 45. Yeah. Yep. I'm focusing on crafting the steel. Well, you, what you can do is you can put, put the bellows in there, then put the clay in there, you'll get the 118, then take the um, bellows out and then put the other stuff you need in there to... Uh, yeah, because it doesn't always steel. update immediately. Okay, so let's try this. My screen's doing that a lot now all of a sudden. Okay, um, so pick this up. No, we have to start the forge first. Pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. So then we, without turning it off, do this. And then just put the steel in at the back. Okay, yeah, that helps a lot. 1 hour 20. Especially with the amount of resources that I need, I don't mind cheesing it a little bit like that. Takes hey, forever to smell the stuff in. To be. 
Sometimes it actually auto updates as you put the stuff inside. So it's weird that it uh, keeps that value for the um, iron. Yeah. I have so much more concrete mix over here. I already have a few stacks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. About, I have a thousand. No, ten is just five hundred. Yeah, I have about 540, 550 concrete blocks. And now I can make 350 more. But I have no steel to upgrade them with, so <laughs> I can make them now, but I won't be able to use them now. The nice thing is, as long as I keep it a two block thingy over here, I can still keep placing it. But I'll have to upgrade it to steel first before I can continue past that. So this can I keep going keep because I can stand this side and upgrade and that, that side. Okay, so then the stairs keep going over here. But now it's not going to be any more ramp shapes. Now it's just going to be the stairs. Okay, so it's, yeah, one, two, three, four, and then the stairs start over here. Before I can fill in the rest of the stairs and stuff over here now, I first have to make these steel. And then on this side, I can actually start going down by just doing this. Technically, I could do the stairs. So I can upgrade from the bottom now, but it's a full upgrade thingy. I could technically put it in, but um, it's going to be very, like, upside-down upgrades and stuff. Um, I want to make a staircase going down that way as well. Or at least this walkway going that way and then turning so it's always going to run up from any side. There's only going to be this one staircase in the middle, though. I'll only be able to do the top, because otherwise I won't be able to upgrade later. So one, two... Actually, from here, go down. Always a nuisance having to limit yourself just because you don't have enough resources of one kind. Now I have to build in such a way that there's no concrete later, because I have to upgrade all of this concrete to steel later. But I have to build in such a way now that it doesn't interfere later with my um, upgrades. If I forget to upgrade one concrete block, that could also cause the whole thing to cave in. At least I'm busy with stairs right now, so it's not going to be that bad. Line it up over here. Oh! The boss with the horns. He's always fun. Oh, and a night terror um, lumberjack. Install. Oh, I eviscerate that dude. Come on, damn it. It's some really bad shooting.
Okay, I'm just keep my guns at the ready because I didn't have my shotgun at the ready just now. Could have cost me. Hello, bunny. Zombie bunny. It sounds so cute when you shoot at it, but then all of a sudden it dies that wow sound. Yeah. I was vicious from the start. Okay, I'm gonna keep it going all the way to over here, more or less. And then have it go down in a pyramid style. But before that, obviously, like I said, I have to make all of the steel. Technically, I want to make the whole floor way, uh, or the flooring over here, the whole floor, just concrete. Later, when I have the resources, I can make it steel, but for now, the concrete's going to help the most. Israel. Hey, Siri. Hello. Uh, she's not in Discord. She's in the um, stream. Just in case that hello was for why is she not talking. <laughs> No, I heard something. Oh, it's your base. Coming up behind me, I'm in at my mine. And I don't... Man, I need a lot of steel now before I can continue over here. All right. I want to make a chewy scent out of concrete. Even though concrete's tough, I want to make all of the steel from the start. The zombies will be able to run up from over here, like two or three uh, stairs from over here, and then it's going to be like a pyramid staircase. At the back of here is going to be like a four staircase. I might put a ladder or two as well, but I, I prefer them going for the stairs. Yeah, if I put the stairs over here, they'll be able to either go for the ladder over there or the stairs over here. And if the ladder were to break, then at least the stairs would still be there. The more of them can be next to each other over here, the more it's going to help us shoot in one straight line on this side. I'm also thinking of putting some um, of those fences, barbed wire fences. I haven't used those in a long time. Okay, so this side we can go... Let's keep it four all the way around. I could even make this walkway turn and keep going over here and then have the stairs come like this. But I don't want to have too, too much of a U-shape, otherwise the zombies might get stuck on the inside. I just already messed up. I think I did. It's going to be floor, uh, four wide and that needs to be a ladder block. Oops. Might be on on the weekend though. Oh, for Discord. Oh, no worries. What you mean, like you're gonna join us on the server, but... One, two... Oh, boy. technically you make like a small turn over here. So then that way there's no way for them to get stuck on something over here. Like so. so they can go up over here, they can go up over there. The outside is going to be just a full pyramid style staircase, but on the inside of here just to help a little bit so they don't go in the corner over here. Run up over here, run up over here, take a turn, and then just keep going. Technically, you can make a base without any ladders. The ladders is a nice way to just throw a ton of Molotovs. If I'm brave enough before the weekend. 
Okay, so now before I continue anything over here, I should be able to take that pillar out on that side. I'm just afraid if it starts burning, it's going to add too much weight. Basically, it's going to be a mirror image of each other. Technically, I definitely need to take this out of here. But I can see the ladder that's going to be coming up over there. We have to be able to see properly. And at the back over here, I'll make it so that we stand one block up. So it's a good thing that I actually made this over here. Because if I'm one block higher than the stairs, they shouldn't get stuck on the stairs. Let's see, you'll be able to sh uh, shoot the ladder as they climb, if you wanted to. Or I can make it a little bit thicker so we can't see to the side. Just stand back and just snipe them. Just shoot straight. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now, we can start building the base itself. Oh yeah, 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 I still have to upgrade all of this. I completely forgot that I was busy filling that up. You have to do that from the inside out, it seems. I'm thinking of going to the desert biome just to see if I can mine a bit more limestone. Forest biome? Yeah, the forest. Desert. Yeah, yeah. See, my brain, I don't even realize that I'm saying it wrong. Basically, I want to go for the to the forest for the limestone because the desert doesn't give me what I want, or what I need. It won't take long for you to get limestone, that's for sure. You get Ooh, stacks and stacks. Best. I'm jumping there just now. Okay, so I'm gonna need some bricks as well. Did I fill in that middle with concrete? Or did I, fill, I could have saw it was concrete, right? You know, I have to put it in such a way that I can still get out of here. Otherwise, this is going to be bad. Jump one block higher. But it's easier to jump this one out. Yeah, it does not take long to get full. Yeah, when you're mining. Especially with stone. Yep. It's a shame you can't equip a mod that allows you to get less stone. Yeah, but you can just do that trick with uh, putting one of each. And then that's all you get is iron. This feels like a waste. Waste of stone. Yeah, that over there should be able to be upgraded. Yeah, this is coming along very nicely. Now I just have to make the walls. Mm, I need that. So it's one, two, three, four. And you go for a fifth one. One, two, three, four. Fifth is the roof. No! Oh, damn it! Ah, uh, the weight. Because it's hanging over here, uh, the, I forgot that if it's too high up and it's not connect, uh, connected straight to the bottom, um, the weight actually is worse. It can't hold as much. I should be able to go 12 blocks out, but because I'm so high up and because there's nothing underneath these blocks, it's interfering with the structural integrity. That was a shame just now. Oh, okay, yeah, I took the top one out.
Ooh, that just now also uh, bordered on almost caving in. Gotta be careful. Okay, I should probably make myself like a window over here where I can shoot out of either one. This side, we don't have to be seeing on this side of here. Yeah. In case we want to throw some explosives and stuff over there, I'll make like a little bit of a door here. Yeah. The... Technically, I could perhaps make like a second window so someone can actually also shoot over here. Because the zombies are running up the stairs over there. Hey Rick, welcome to the stream. So you can stand over here and shoot, or you can stand over here and shoot. Maybe I'll make like a window where you can throw Molotovs at the zombies, or... If your aim is correct, you can actually throw a Molotov from over here. But this door will have to be uh, closed to do that. I think it's going to be easier throwing Molotovs at the zombies on the ladders from this angle. I still have to actually make the ladders go down, which can be the hard part. I'm wondering if it's even, if it's even necessary for any ladders. If they get stuck in the ladders, it's going to be a problem. Well, this, as long as we can just shoot them straight. No ladder base. Because I always go for ladders, but at the moment, there's no real need for it. I have so many stairs over here, they'll be able to pick and choose wherever they want to go. I wonder if I should have spaces on the side to be able to see the nemesis zombies. Although the moment they go uh, just past the space of here, we'll be able to shoot them. Although they might not be... If they get stuck behind the pillars of here, we'll need to be able to shoot them. So I wonder if I should make a floor over here with bars. Uh-oh. Screamer. Just wide enough so we can stand over here and shoot down at them. And then we can go a few out. And about there. I'll still put a proper wall and everything over here, and then this side of here. I'll put bars uh, on top and then a doorway so we can go out and just look over here. Are they hitting the back? Because the nemesis zombies are tall enough that they might actually want to try something like that. Technically, I could have this whole thing going all the way to that side over there. Should probably. Hmm. Around this. We do this. And then from here to there, it just gets connected, and that we take out over there. Yeah, need to be careful of the weight. That's the biggest thing right now. If every now and then I can put a bar in so long to help with the weight, that's all going to help uh, tremendously. But we'll see how that goes right now. Damn it Let's see how far this can hold before it says nope. Getting a little bit much. Ooh, this one I should have placed double from the start. Okay, and then from this side to that side, this should help support the weight. We're going to put bars in over here anyway, so this steel all the way through will help carry. I 
And the nice thing is it doesn't seem like we're really going to run out of uh, steel blocks at the, or concrete blocks at the moment. Obviously, <laughs> getting enough steel for all of these blocks, ooh, that's going to take a while. Is it 10 or 20 for an upgrade? Um, it's 10 steel, I think. Oh, it's Just to make blocks, the block, right? yeah. Oh, okay. So if you want to skip all the other resources, that's why it's more expensive uh, in that Makes one block. Sense. So they're like, okay, you can either upgrade with 10, or you can skip all of the upgrades and just go with 20. Okay, the zombies shouldn't be smacking downstairs now. Because of the stairs over there. I'm just hoping it's not so far that the zombies are like, and ah, let me just smack you over here. The, uh, these pillars as well, all the way around, all the way to the top, need to be steel. First, I'll make sure I make that over there steel before I put any bars over here. And then over here, we'll do this. That way, I don't need this at all right now. I could have wrapped this around the tower to the side as well, but then the spiders and the bunnies and stuff might just jump, make the jump. Don't want to take that chance. Um, the only doors. See, if I put the door here, it could work. But the only problem is if I put a door there, the zombies might vomit. As they're vomiting from over there, they're going to destroy the door. So technically, I should put the door where there's nothing to be seen. There's already going to be a door over here, which they're going to vomit out if you're standing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five. We'll put the door over there. So you have to go up the ladder, but you're going to hug the wall. You can turn left or right, because there's going to be a door over that side as well. And then come up. Two, three, four, five. It's from there. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, ran out of blocks. At least, like I said, the zombies, if they come for me right now, they should go for the stairs over there. So there's no door, there's nothing else. Searching for what? Creepy whisper. And just like that, we have a ton of concrete again. Ooh, the, uh, the iron's already been smelted in. Nice. Although, it's going to take a while for all that clay to smelt in. I wonder... I definitely need more clay soon. Ooh. Ooh, I need to be careful right now. Basically, I don't want to reset the um, clay that's already there. So you do that, you only pick up these. And you place these in there. Oh, the other resources are actually adjusting as we go. If you just put clay in there, I wonder if you should t uh, turn it off completely. If you just put clay in there, and um, you start, uh, you replace the bellows with, um, although the, the animals with bellows, it actually goes down. But the moment you start replacing it with actual uh, stuff, it uh, changes the amount. It's not supposed to do that. Uh, I think the pallets are the only ones that don't change. I thought I was being clever, but nope. 
Okay, forge steel. All this clay needs to finish now. Wood cutting tool. Imagine I messed up just now and the clay pallet also started from scratch. Yeah. Half an hour wasted. But it seems if you just put normal resource, because I put clay in just now, the moment you swap it out with another tool, it all automatically changes the time for it. But the clay pallet still stayed the reduced amount. Hmm. Another reason to use the pallets then. Okay, I have successfully filled in both of these towers. Steel I'll use over here so I can finish the stairs. See, this I could technically keep just concrete, but I want to make sure this whole base is fully steeled up. Again, who is he? He shall not be pleased. Imagine there's like a late game boss or something and the whispers were actually trying to warn you. That'd be cool. Copy shape, copy rotation. So I'm not going to be putting ladders over here. I don't think that's going to be necessary anymore. I can make another window that you can shoot out of. You can stand over here, or you can stand over here. Stand too much and both sides will be able to hit you. gonna be so bad if this uh, it's like kind of a rage inducing i'm gonna quit now kind of thing imagine if one block starts to cave in and your whole base just caves in after thousands upon thousands of blocks being put in yeah. and just decides to cave in sometimes if you're That's lucky you it stops at the pillar but other times it actually keeps going past the pillars that's where you just pause and you try to decide what you're gonna do next like is it even worth it <laughs> I have seen a base in the pot. Even I think was was it Rip? Someone was saying they had a, a single player base. I must have. I might have been in a general chat in Discord. Someone actually said something about they had a base uh, where the weight started caving in, but it caved in all around the pillars. So the whole base just caved in on itself. Um, the, the whole floor. Usually a floor caves in up to a pillar and then it stops caving in. But for them, it just didn't stop at all. It just kept going. Well, um. That one, it wasn't your, your end, but that one building that they had, remember it, it all caved in and the pillar stayed? Yeah. Um, he put that one block in there, or that one... Workbench. Oh, yeah, was it a workbench? And it, the whole thing just caved in, but the pillar still stayed. That usually means the block holding the floor up wasn't strong enough to hold the floor. Well, when you went around there, you noticed that it looked like it was concrete, but some of them were actually wood. Yeah. Same happened in my wastelands uh, when I had a wasteland hey base. Guys. The floor was um, wood, but it looked too, uh, like concrete to us. Hey, Bob. Uh-huh. Hey, I remember Bob. that vividly. <laughs> oh, you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He let me know uh, the, wood, uh, the whore destroyed the base. Burned it down. 
I said not the horde base, the base base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was the base base. But, you know, thankfully, well, or not thankfully, I mean, that that mod had run its course with a lot of people. Yeah. There was too many bugs. Especially with the traders. Oh, that was the worst. But the fact a lot of people actually say they love the mod, but the fact that you have to install four mods on your own to make it work together, uh, that just uh, put them off the mod completely. And it makes sense. I mean, yeah. now you have to try and figure out that because if, if one of the four is outdated or something, or had a new update and it wasn't accounted for, then the whole thing just doesn't work. You know, it's just doing a series right now on it. It's called something burn. Yeah, something on fire or world. something burn, yeah. Yeah, world on world fire. World on fire, yeah. What, uh, wasteland mod. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. I hope she doesn't get the same errors as we did. Ooh, Genosis? Yeah. If he gets the same errors as us, I wonder how long it's going to be like until, oh, this is not playable. <laughs> yeah. Daf Daphne, she doesn't play. She only likes Darkness Fall. She doesn't play a lot of different mods. No, wait, I take that back. She liked the joke mod. She liked playing that. That's a mod I haven't played yet either. And I don't think it doesn't seem like something I want to play. It was okay. It, was, it wasn't bad. No? Yeah, we had it on the server. It was, it was, it was kind of fun. Hmm. Kind okay. Of. How to sell that mod, Gene? John. <laughs> But to me, it's a mod that you can play with friends and have a good time. But a uh, single player, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play that mod. Yeah, I don't know how Kane is doing it. He's got two seasons into the thing, like thirty-eight or forty episodes, yeah. something like Perhaps that. Perhaps he likes the the um, goofiness of it because of his mod being so serious. I wonder what I should do for the yeah, roof I mean, now. I guess. Joke mod's not that bad. I could make the roof a scaffold at a uh, base, but then when you're walking on the roof, you're going to be hopping up and down, unless you put the bars on top of that. Because you can shoot to the bars. With your defense, did you put the, uh, the um, scaffolding on the outside with the zombies, or do you put it on the inside? Go on. Uh, 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 I'm in. Inside. The scaffolding inside and the bars and outside. Yeah. Because if you don't, your scaffolding is getting hit twice. You think about it. See, your scaffolding is going to hit from your pukers. And it will get hit from your uh, the nemesis, nemesis swinging. Oh. That's how I, you know, that. so this way I put yeah. the scaff, I put the bars first so it will stop the nemesis. I wonder for my roof means, what I should do. It probably won't matter. It could be either way. It probably because if I do matter. the scaffolding, the thing is, um, okay, let me just place scaffolding over here. If I make it just out of scaffolding, for example. So, and you have to walk on it. It's a very hoppery. You, you, you can't move and aim at the same time because you're going to miss. You're basically I don't even, studying, hmm? I don't have anything on my ceiling except for just... Uh, kind yeah, of steel blocks. I steel blocks. Nope. Just yeah. I don't even shoot them. If if I've got a clear enough time, a clear enough path, you know, zombies aren't um coming up to me real fast. Then I'll go up that ladder right there. Oh, and there's a trick too, by the way, that you can funnel the birds to you, so it reduces the chance of hitting you, and you can come up and then they funnel right around to you and you can shoot them. And that's if you build a ladder that goes up one square, and then you build uh, squares. On the three, one in the back, two on the side. Then, as you come up that ladder, that bird will swing around and come up from the top, and then come down towards I'll have to see you. A or... picture of that, otherwise, <laughs> it's at my base right now. I just found that out. It was pure coincidence. Because the thing is, I have to account for birds and bombers and stuff on the roof. They're definitely going to target us uh, while we're standing on the inside. So I want to be able to shoot them. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you want to shoot. You can go ahead, otherwise I just leave them be for the most part and unless I've got a 
some it's free from the time top, to go The up only there. thing that can really hit us if I put bars for a roof is the vultures. Because they, they're the only vomiters. I, I wonder the, the bombing vultures. Uh, yeah, do they, does that stuff go through the bars or does it hit the bars and stop? Because it's like an explosive. It, it should go through the bars because you can shoot through the bars. They can spit through the bars. So Not, you would. It doesn't go through the scaffolding. I use scaffolding right. on my. Yeah, it won't go through scaffolding. Scaffolding. What if I should just stop make the, uh, the roof out of scaffolding then. I want, to be, I want us to be able to just look up and shoot the vulture, but I want, don't want them to be able to shoot us back. No, they can't your, get through it. But... Scaffolding is going to be your best bet all around. The only issue you're having right now is the fact that you don't want to be walking on it and doing the bump. Hopping up and down, yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, at least. It's not a world ending kind of thing. I hope they don't change that, because that scaffolding adds a lot of protection. <laughs> Variety, a lot of variety. There is one thing though; you have to be careful how you use it, like in the front of your base, because if they get close enough, they will actually climb up the scaffolding. And I've tried turning that darn thing. No, but every can they climb on the outside of it? Yes, yes, they I thought can. scaffolding There's can only be climbed on the one side, like a ladder. Nope. Yeah, you can only climb one side of that. Well, seriously. But I'm, okay, if you're talking about have it rotated, yeah, right. the rotate. The um one side, it doesn't matter how you rotate it, they can climb on it. On yeah, one that's side, side, doesn't matter. Basically, at the moment, if you're looking at my stream, um, if you place it like John, uh, John's placing it, they won't be able to climb up it. Yeah, basically, this green part yeah. is where they can climb. On the outside, they shouldn't be able to climb. That's like the, the back part, of the ladder. Right, where you at? Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yep. So, so the green part, they can climb. So you have to be careful. If you have that rotated to them, they can climb it. But if, as long as you have that on your side, the only problem is on your side, you can accidentally climb it, and that's annoying. Depending on how you put it, because I know, like, for example, uh, yeah, if, if it's upright, you don't climb it as much. But, but if it's sideways, like a ladder, like a, a ladder rungs, um, then you, you, you can accidentally climb it just by being close to it. That's why in the past I didn't use it before. Yeah, it can be annoying when you were. Uh... Especially when you have the upper part open, if you get too close, it's like you're, it's like, uh, um, Velcro. You stick right to it. Yeah. I'm going to need hundreds more concrete blocks and then to be able to upgrade them as well, it's going to take forever. I only have 26 blocks left. Damn. I had like six, seven hundred blocks all together of concrete and I placed all of them. And I had a thousand five hundred plus steel that's all gone as well. It sucks that you have to use a nail gun to upgrade your steel. Why? Because if you're not running around, I, I'd run around with a claw hammer because I can open up stuff up. Now, if you quickly want to upgrade something or repair something, you have to first go and get your steel, uh, your nail gun to be able to do steel. Like, for example, now, I want to go out and loot. But I'm going to quickly just first, I don't have to upgrade that to steal what I want to upgrade, come drop off a nail gun, and then keep going. Yeah, but it is a lot faster with the nail gun. Ooh. Steal. Well, it's, it would have been two shots with a claw hammer, but because steel requires you to have the nail gun, it's uh, a little bit difficult. You have to go and grab it. I also want to make this whole floor concrete as well, so I have so much ahead of me to do. Um... Okay. Now I can basically finish this side of the stairs, and then we have to keep doing this side. I'm constantly going to have to be smelting stuff down now. I'm thinking of even going to the... I want to go to the forest to be able to mine the limestone, but also no. to get a ton of clay over there. You get so much more clay mining or digging in the forest biome. I wonder if I shouldn't quickly go get that treasure map, and then go all the way to this side of here, 
and then read the treasure map over there. It's less likely to be in the wasteland. Mackerson, I can take off because that has disappeared. You know, that last perk in Physician doesn't really seem to do anything for anything but the batons. So, and if you're not using a baton, I guess you don't have to waste a point in it, huh? You do not. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's just put all of this stuff away. How much I'm, of this is spent um, I used batons. I used the baton, so it was great. I may end up doing that when we do the Darkness Falls since the spear got nerfed all the weeby jeebies. Because Kane did a good job on that one. I wonder when um, H22 is going to release now. I haven't even heard it's anything over. about like pre streaming or anything. I don't understand so, why he did that because Spears is one of the things he uses first to play when he first does the mod. Oh crap. Well, I understand why because I mean, let's face it, Spears were OP. What I'm not too candid with is the fact that uh, he double dipped. And by that I mean that he redu he increased the stamina usage of the spear, making it basically the same thing as uh, the sledge. as the sledge. And That's in the good. same sentence, said it wasn't going to affect attack speed. Then he went back down and he said it's the attack speed is going to be lowered. But here's the thing: when you increase the stamina usage of the spear, you by default decrease the amount of times you can use the spear so right. you can't your speed attack has been severely diminished because you can only attack as much as you got stamina so you reduce the attack of the spear and which is a negative and at the same time reduce or increase the amount of stamina so you double dip in basically the same thing just re I, uh, increasing the stamina that's cool that's fine but then also decreasing the attack speed the stamina already reduced the attack speed by reducing the amount of times you can attack. Right. Oh, that's not right. So, all I have left to do is uh, blades and sledgehammer, and I'm working on blades now. I just started it, and I have to get 100 kills with the bone knife. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. In the beginning of the stream, I put two stacks of um, gunpowder into the concrete, uh, into this uh, chem station. And I never put in enough fuel. Well, no, I think I. Oh, no, but I, no, didn't I? I could have sworn I did. Unless it was only for the steel that I did it. And then oil. Yeah, I have to make some oils. So I'll make 23 minutes more. Be enough. Zeril says Iron Man is a big brain. Nerd. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to, just need to wait for this to finish because I need to repair this. And repair it. I'll wait. I have to wait for the oil. I have to come back and put this in as soon as this finishes. Three four minutes. At least I should be able to make quite a bit of steel. I just need a lot of clay and stuff. There One, it is, two, finally. two. What? Did something happen? I didn't want to say any. Yeah, you sent the invite. <laughs> yeah, but we did. No one was in a group. Oh, we weren't? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, now let me just send it. <laughs> I was so busy building, I didn't even think about uh, being in a team. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I was this trader after the horde. All I have 12k team. on me. There 
was a nemesis at my garage door and took took it down to 15k from 30k. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go back anyways because I need to take those. Um, well, I can just mine anyway, but it's it's worth actually digging for treasures. Someone has a motorcycle up here now, rat bike, and a drone. That's um, Keep your Martin's. Distance. Not anymore. <laughs> He locks his stuff. He knows better. Oh, there that it was is. Unlocked. There's a horde. Was there something else? I mean, I just had to take lock off, but that wasn't locked. His bike isn't locked? <laughs> I'm not joking saying that I broke the lock. Oh, oh, oh. That went right over my head. <laughs> I should be able to get enough clay from going for treasures. Okay. Where are you going? Oh. I think I'll go for that treasure over there now if we get more of the treasure maps at the base. I'm overheating. It's weird, I have full insulation. But I'm still overheating. It's probably a, it's probably a, a no, but it's just it's uh, just normal heat. Although I might have not noticed the nemesis and it was still overheating me, um, but not showing the sign. 39% fuel. It's insane how far you can go in a tank of gas with this thing. You basically don't run out of fuel. That's good because... By the look of the size of that thing, you would think you'd be going through crack gas left and right. I know, right? It takes me 1.52% fuel to go all the way from over here to where you guys are. Okay, technically I should wear these glasses to make it shrink faster, but I need the clay. Okay, let's go beat up some zombies. I mean, it's only one block faster anyways. Nine to five kills. See, if this was the forest, I think by now I would have had way more. Although, I need to see if I can't make myself a tungsten uh, shovel. I'm still using a steel shovel, so I'm not getting as much resource as I should be. It's okay. I don't see much of... It's like a 14 or 14 or 20 difference. So, but that's really still a lot, big. especially if you're going for a lot of blocks. Yeah. Man, I need some more. I haven't mined any tungsten yet, either. I haven't either. I've just been getting it off of my. Uh, I can't find it. Horde night and excavators. Yeah, I I can't find it. I've tried. I've looked. I went out to the wasteland and looked, and I'm like, what if you just mine down? I have to get lucky. I don't have streamer luck. I went down to bedrock thinking I might not get it and I actually got a massive mine. And it didn't uh, cave in your base? Nope, but well, I'm digging away from my base. Come here, you. Ooh. No, no, don't jump off, don't jump off, thank you. It should slice and dice you like a blade uh, blade trap when you run through the blades. Did you hit E by accident? Nope. 
I jumped off on purpose to make sure it actually falls on my roof and doesn't go past. Oh, okay. I'm not in the buggy. What are you doing, you dumb zombie? This is gonna take a while. She's got some long arms to hit you with. Olive. Bleed out. That's what I thought. Okay. And treasure maps. And armor. Just in case I go into a radiated area. <gasps> oh my god, he snuck up on me. I'm actually glad there was a horde in the beginning of the stream. Because then it's not too much of just a... You know, it's a pretty chill one. There's no zombies. Except for the horde knights and the wandering horde. I just literally was building the whole time. The night's still young, I might still face a massive horde, who knows? Oh, I feel wow. like just digging down here and seeing if I can find the tungsten. I don't know if my luck is going to be that good. I'll need you to dig over there into it, because this over here is not enough. Too close to the uh, deserts, so I don't think I'm going to get lucky. I got... Concrete Accelerant, Wolframite... Forged steel, a pallet of iron, and some scrap aluminum from a boss. Plus his heart. So that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill with my knife. Because I got startled and hit him with my tungsten <laughs> mace. I mean, yeah. That's not the Supermax, right? That's a different prison. The one to your north. Well, to uh, Yun Kansas. No, wait. To your west. It's west of your Tesco. Yeah, it's, a it's a different prison. I'm gonna check this one out. It looks kind of cool. No, it's yeah, all huge. The doors are locked. All the doors are locked. You have to get in. I wonder where's the one where there's there's one where you have to go to like a sewer system to get inside. That's the one. Okay, I need to go. The closer I get over to there. like radiated type POIs, the worse my uh, frame rates get because of that damn green fog. I wish you could turn. There's a way of turning that off. POIs like those should actually have like a, a barrier around it, saying um, uh, caution, radiation, uh, radiation. That might be a cool addition. Instead of having the buildings just do, but then again, then you'll have to do it for all the buildings. Pep, uh, POIs, they have to basically customize it for the uh, the mod. But it would be cool if they just had barricades around with like warnings and skulls and stuff, and then if as soon as you pass that barrier, then you get radiated. This should be far enough away from the wasteland to read the maps. You don't want to do it in the wasteland? <laughs> well, I, I need the clay. Oh. So it's either me just go uh, dig a hill up or um, aim for treasures inside this waste, uh, this forest. Man, that house looks bad. Taylor was doing this mortician's house over here and the uh, fire just burned it down. Half the building gone. No one's reset it yet? 
Nope. Ooh, nice. Wait, which one do I have a spare of? Taylor. So we'll do Taylor first. And when I get that, I can read another one. If I don't get enough clay from doing it like this, I'm just going to go into like a hill and just start mining. If I had all of these steel blocks that I used for the pillars of here and all of the concrete blocks, I would have been a little bit further with my current base. It's only after starting it, I was like, ooh, perhaps I should do something else. Even in single player, I basically now made that new horde base. But if I can get enough resources saved up, I can actually go to like the snow biome or something. Because I'm already living over here in the um, desert biome, I actually like to go to a snow city. Although I have no idea what my map looks like. I don't know where to find those. What? It just got dark. Like Didn't instantly. you say that the map, map creator was happy that you went back to the map? For Darkest Falls, yeah. Yeah, for Darkest Falls. So the funny thing is I've already seen, uh, seen his comment saying, yay, you kept going with this map. But um, he actually made a comment uh, of, oh, it's a sh shame you're getting discontinuing this. Because I'd really like to see you keep playing my map. So even without him uh, asking if I can keep going, I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep using this map. I need to give myself a little bit of an edge. I don't know how to add maps to, like, big maps. I don't know where to put them. Some it's in the Dota Worlds folder. And it'll come up when you create a new game? Yep. Sometimes you have to put it in the mods, uh, like mods, uh, world, uh, under, uh, for example, Darkness Falls. In the mods folder, there's a worlds folder where you can put, uh, put it there. Uh, but other times, you just have to put it in the data folder. Like when you like, see the same, when you open up your Seminist Life folder, there's a data one. If you go into that, there should be a one that says worlds. Now, isn't that, is that the same with uh, POIs? Like my friend made a POI and we had to put it in the mods folder. Yeah, basically it's a, order, it's a random... In order. I could have sworn yeah. Reach had a video once where he showed how to import a certain building into a map. But I can't find that uh, that video anymore. I think there was a way where you can actually go and add a specific building to a specific location on your map. Um, but just adding a normal map, uh, like if, if he makes a POI, you can basically add it to a, um, a mods folder. Or a folder and then just add it in the mods. But basically what that's going to do is when you create a world, there's a chance that it spawns somewhere in that world. It's not going to have a set location or anything. Every time I try and make a custom map, I can never, it won't give me the option of renaming it what I want. If you go for advanced generation? Yeah. It, it never sh shows up the way I want it. But it's also, I think it has to do with your PC as well, because even with my PC, when I create a world, sometimes if I, I try and create a second one, it uses so much RAM that it just crashes my game. It actually once uh, crashed my PC. Okay, if I can get 3,000 clay from each of these maps, that's going to be more than enough now. And I love this thing. I'm actually glad I decided to make myself a helicopter as well. And I'm glad it wasn't a gyrocopter. You don't like gyrocopters? Nah, I don't like them at all. The steering and everything just feels off. And the fact that you have to move forward and backward. You can't just stand still and drop. I love it of being able to do that with the helicopter. The fact that you can just take off straight up and straight down. 
it's so dark. What's going on? Rainy. Rainy, rainy weather. Oh, but yeah, it's night time. So, well, I mean, it's in the morning. The worst thing is, I love listening to like the rain and falling asleep. And then a lot of times while I'm streaming, it'll actually start raining. I'm like, oh, I wish so much that I can just go lay down. At least I can one shot with a steel axe. Oh, a steel shovel, and it actually works really well. Okay, it shrunk, so I'm guessing it went this this way. Yep. Ouch. I have lock picking maxed out as well. Okay, and then I should probably read the other one already. Let's read this one. So how does that work in Darkness Falls now? The lock picking? Or the, um... Yeah, I'm know, so confused picking. still because uh, when I asked Kane before the release of this update, his people were arguing with me saying that um, it's only lock picking that gives better loot. But then I asked him, he was like, yeah, no, the power attack of the crowbar and the lock pick gives better loot. But if you have to bust it open with like a pickaxe or sledgehammer, that gives worse loot. But now in the um, notes, it only says about lockpicking, and it doesn't specify what uh, what bashing it open means. Does it count for the crowbar as well? Is it just for a pickaxe? I should I should probably just ask him on Discord uh, on Twitter as well to make sure. Yeah, the direct question on it. I wouldn't be surprised that to uh, reduce the confusion, he now made it that it's only lockpicks. Well, it would put some value to him. But then it, it would make the crowbar useless. I mean, obviously, um, you could still one-shot open a safe at the, uh, at the uh, chance of getting a screamer, uh, which is way faster, but at the same time, if you get good, good loot for using the crowbar, it incentivizes you trying to use the crowbar. Yeah, it used to be the crowbar would, was good for breaking things, but once you get that titanium auger, that's king. Yeah. Although, to so open up a container, you can still just power attack and you got the same loot as would you, as you would have uh, lockpicking it. So it was, it was worth doing a power attack on, like, say, for example, a treasure chest or a safe or whatever. Because you your chance having to fight screamers and stuff. I mean, especially now that this, that one scout quest can actually spawn in um, zombies when the screamers scream, that's going to make it so much harder. How are they hitting me? What the heck? That was one of the easiest scout quests to do, just killing some screamers. And now those screamers can actually spawn their own friends. Makes sense, though. Yep. How? How? You didn't even touch me. The apocalypse. She doesn't have to. No, I jumped over her and she died with from a bleed and when she died I got an abrasion. Maybe you got it from jumping. How? No idea. <laughs> Your old bones creaking against each other. <laughs> hmm. Abrasive. Imagine you could set an age for your character in game as well. Like uh, the the game asks you what what age are you, and it actually um, uh, gives you a character of that same age. <laughs> Forget Ooh, about it. Ooh, airdrop. I think I want to be a fifty-five year old guy running around killing zombies. But imagine the older you are, the more perks and stuff you get as well. Like wisdom. <laughs> then I'm screwed because I have no wisdom.
Do you think you could survive in an apocalypse? Yep. I mean, sometimes I wish for a zombie apocalypse. But they say people that wish for stuff like that just want to uh, want to kill people without being held responsible. It's my fault they're undead. Oh, imagine you're so confident. Yeah, I'll survive and you're the first to get bitten. I think that must be embarrassing. You know what I'm finding hard to find? is vitamins. Yeah. Yep. Can't you make those? Nope. No. I just realized I am digging faster because I have my lucky little goggles on to loot the chest. Uh, chest. Instead of just using three shots, I'm doing two shots. Freaking Tom. This should be more than enough clay for now. If I make pellets, and I can put three pellets in there at the same time, that's going to give quite a bit of, um... That gives uh, ten per pellet, right? Yeah. So it's going to give me 30,000. 30,000. And that's the max, that's a cap as well. Yep, and here's a little tidbit of information. If that last pellet goes over the 30,000, it doesn't get used, it stays in there. Ooh. So basically it's a bug. I don't know if it's a bug or if, since it's a pallet, it can't use it because it, it, it goes over the 30k limit. Yeah, so basically it didn't use it. Uh, you think it used it, but it didn't use it in the first place. Well, no, it'll stay in there. It, it, once you go back into there, it'll still be in there and it'll have zero and it'll be blanking. It happened to me twice. Well, so so does that mean it gets blanking. useless or... No, it just, just waits for you in. to use it. Oh, yep, once okay. you use the... um. Use what's in there, already smelted, then it'll throw it on in there for you. Wow, just big. Wow, I just got 3,000 from that. That was weird. Okay, so I got quite a bit just now. Nice. Put these away, fill up the fuel tank. Um. 10,400 play. Nice. That was the only treasure map that I still had over here. Dirt bike. Yeah, I want to be able to pick up my dirt bike and take it back, but uh, it's a shame you can't just hook it up to the um, vehicle, to the helicopter. Yeah, drag it. Fly it. I wonder if I should try and do a little bit of mining in the wasteland. Just try and see if I can get lucky. If I can make myself a, a shovel. With bone knife. Good luck. Ah, I beat him. Got hit a couple times, but I got him. Hmm. A lot of running around. Of course, it is a level 837 bone knife. Oh! Where'd the bones go? I wonder with Hell on Earth whether the mining of resources will be uh, the same or not. No. So for example, no. if you were to go and use a, a hoe on like wild plants, do you still get three or is it less now because it's Hell on Earth? So far, everything else has been a little bit more grindy, so I'm guessing that's going to be a thing. Yeah, but that is dictated by a perk though. That you have to put a point into. Yeah, but even health nuts dictated by a perk. And if you die, yeah, it goes past right. that. Hmm. At least with the jumping, uh, with the parkour, it says unless you have Hell on Earth difficulty. But with others, it might just be a surprise. Because Kane was even, uh, he was very cryptic when he was like, yeah, that's the that's 
One of the, it's insanity with penalties and some other stuff. So um, the way you phrase it and the, the ellipses you put in between, it um, goes to show there's, there's more to it than we know at the moment. Way more. You oh, need to die so we can figure it out. <laughs> what I want to actually do is, uh, if, if I get like super infected or something again, or like I'm in a really bad state, I want to put everything away except for like one or two items and then try dying. To make sure that, I, uh, because I have a sneaking suspicion that if you die, you lose your stuff as well. Um, the other thing too is see how long it takes you because isn't in the normal it takes three in game days before infection kills you. Yeah. Oh crap, that's a horde. The only problem is the more infected you are, the slower you move. So getting yeah. everything else done until then is going to be a pain. I want to check this place out because it looks interesting. Oh, hello, fire dude. I wonder if he also gives you a terror heart, if you can skin him. I thought there might be, uh, this might be thick enough to have a staircase looping all the way up. I have like tons and tons and tons of zombies on the staircases. Okay, how many zombies? Just this one. Oh, it's way bigger than that. Oh, okay, damn. From the angle I was in, I thought it was like a small dome on the inside. Where, where are you? In one of those turbines. Oh, those nice. wind mole thingies. It's huge on the inside. Damn. I see if both are the same. I think I'm guessing they are exactly the same. Blue sky. Damn, look how much you slow down when you start to re uh, reload your gun. I can actually see what points I need to put into. I keep forgetting about all of these normal skills and perks and stuff, like, because I always think about the action skills. Mining, advanced tools, aluminum, aluminum pickaxe, and shovel. Aluminum. I don't even need these at the moment. Because my mining's 100, I should be able to make a pickaxe. Tungsten. Because I already read that high level stuff. Yeah, I can make a level 9 or 1. I just need the tungsten pickaxe head, and for that I'm going to need 20 forged tungsten. Have you guys actually found any forged tungsten at all in like the drops? Nope. No. Scrap or draw? Just imagine getting a, like a full forged. Yeah, that'd be nice. Like rare, but still a chance at it at least. Imagine there's more to this, I'm just missing it. These also start the generator quests. No, no. I need to be careful because I know in some of the mods. This stuff is actually electrified. You think you're safe until you step on it like... <laughs> I 
I have so much ink, I should probably also make myself some sub bosses and stuff. That's what I've been working on. Not the subclass, I shouldn't say that. Like extra classes. Yeah. I only have the shotgun, the spear, and the automatic. All I have left is the blades and um, uh, sledgehammers. I'm horrible at sledgehammers. So. What am I doing? I'm in my hazmat here, and I'm fighting this. No wonder my I'm getting hit so hard. I don't know how Ayla plays in her hazmat here all the time. Just mm -hmm. haunt that. You know? But it is all mid, so it, it does still give a little bit of protection. Yeah, not the same protection that your regular gear gives you. Yeah, but some of the armors have like 10, so I think most of the armor is plus 10. Okay. And since it's heavy armor, remember, uh, the hazmat's heavy. So they do actually still provide you a little bit more um, armor than the military. Uh, all my military is 11.7 Military is more. Yeah, but it's light armor as well. Yeah, the uh, military gives you better uh, explosion resistance, um, less stamina penalty, and more um, defense overall. The military does than the um, heavy armor for the mat hazmat for the wasteland. I checked it all out, and ten is the most I've seen that you can get. I think Purpose I actually armor. scrapped one of my tens. I didn't know. We could have tens, and I was selling everything. Like, yeah, oh, you were like armor's yeah. armor. I should be able to dig. I'm gonna try that patch over there. I am the dark spot. <laughs> It's a safe-ish spot right around me, so I should probably just see if I can't just dig down there. It's wasteland, but not wasteland. Come here, Skomo. You and your sledgehammer. I wonder if there's a mod there where the zombies are slow during the day, but fast at night. And also inside your eyes, if there's no light, they're fast, but in the daytime, they're uh, slow. Like if there's light, they're slow. I could have sworn there was a mod, or that there was a thing in like early alphas, where the zombies were super slow. Uh, in the beginning of the alphas, they were slow in sunlight and fast in um, nighttime. Yep, there is. But they removed that um, for some reason. There's a mod. Oh god, I was just gonna... I was, it's... Um... I am legend. That's it. I am legend. I was actually doing a th uh, thinking of doing a series called I am legend, yeah. but now I find out there's a mod already called it. Yeah, there's a movie called it too. So there is a mod called that as well already. But that I'm movie. Yeah, Nathan, a series on it then. Nathan, Nathan posted it a while back. Yeah, I, I went and played it a little bit. There's a somebody's doing a series on it right now. What's the series going to be about? It's I Am Legend series. He's playing the mod. Oh, oh I thought you meant it, like TV wise. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The I Am Legend movie, the yeah. ending, actually, the ending and a lot of your the base plot was changed, was alternated from uh, what it was originally. And I wish they would have done it originally because. Originally, it was... See, the I Am Legend now that got released, it's basically a zombie movie. The original, which they ran, they did a lot of uh, um, filming right. for it already, is that it was going to be... Uh, basically, they, were, they weren't they were zombies. 
they were um, the next generation of human beings. They were evolved human beings. Same thing, same same type of um, creatures. It's just they they were shown because you notice they had they left bits and pieces in there because in I Am Legend they have some sort of of social order. Because that the zombies work together, um, there was an a, uh, there's a hierarchy. king. Yeah, there's a hierarchy, and then that one that was his girlfriend or his wife or yeah. his mate. Mm -hmm. There was that social order. Now, in the original, what they wanted that was supposed to be evolved to the point where they were sort of sort of like cavemen. Yeah, where they weren't as sophisticated in technology wise, but they were evolved in a more genetic wise yeah they had issues with daylight but in the original they could still go out in the daylight it's just that they were more sensitive to it but everything else was evolved sense of smell and then there touch, was like a part a and a part b the part b that they didn't show was uh, him just releasing the girlfriend like he was actually able to communicate yes with them. yep yep and then uh, there is actually a, hey, a um where they both got together and they worked they were, were all working in tandem with each other. You would not believe what and I found as soon as I dug down in the wasteland. Tungsten. Come on. Yep, Wolframite. Wow. Okay. So it's really not that hard. Well, for some people, it's not <laughs> that hard to get. Literally, the spot I took, I just dug down, and it looks like um, a nitrate. You know what that's called. We all know what that's called. It's called being, uh, uh being, uh, uh, what, what's it called? Giga Chad, uh, being an uh, expert, being a. <laughs> being That's at called... the right place at the right time. Yeah, and it's called Streamer of Luck. Nah, there's no such thing. There's oh, no yes, such thing. <laughs> I mean, literally, I need carbon. I dig down at uh, my prison, there's carbon. I need tungsten. I dig down over here, there's tungsten. I need a million dollars. <laughs> I wish. Good luck with that. Right. Oh, just had to be used, Sledge Tourist. Going for a thousand Wolframite, that should be enough for now. You know, Tom is a little wondering what about me? Does that also, also uh, scrap five per one? Smelt, I mean. Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. Because it's, it's like carbon. Okay. Excuse me. At least my mining's maxed. And there's a lot of activity above me right now. Please don't tell me that's a wandering horde. Well, the good thing is, too, that since you can't upgrade to uh, forged tungsten, it's really only used just for... Uh, tools that's it i don't know any, is there any use for anything else just for uh, tungsten uh, weapons and tools so the weapons are like uh, machete and um sledge and, and the uh, magbo the what oh the magbo yeah the mag yeah i think it takes 20 or 25 or something 50 40 yeah it's 50 uh, for the magbo Ooh, okay I think it's 20 for the pickaxe. Seriously though? It's not too hard to get as well. C115. Yeah, I get like 17, 18 per shot. Or per uh, uh, ore, I mean. There's also iron mixed in between, it's weird. Usually in the wasteland, um, depending on the mod, like for example Darkness Falls, I very rarely find like iron in the wasteland. It's mostly the other three main ones. At least now I'll be able to make myself the tools that I need. I can't one shot iron. I think I should probably go for like a hundred iron. Oh, a thousand. No, ten thousand iron. Hmm. Yeah, iron's super easy to get. Damn. 
Yeah, it's... Like the amount oh, you get per shot. Fire. Yep. It's like 300 for like one hit on it, and then... Let's see, 3.2. 3. It's about 590 or something that you get per ore. So just 20 ores and you have 10,000. That's thousand wolf from mine, right? Oh, cool. No, close to it though. Heck, that's probably all you're gonna need. Thousand. I want to make sure it's a solid thousand. Okay. That was easy. Although that it takes away all your stamina just mining with a tungsten axe. Yeah. I I tried all, all different kinds of uh, stamina. Oh, another horde. Stamina uh, drinks and nothing seems to uh, allow you just to non-stop. What about the mine with that puffy? axe? I did. That's the best one. I even tried to see if uh, you could put two of the Ergo mods on there. That would be so broken. Oh, I overshot it. Damn it. Oh. There you go. Uh -oh. Like a bow. Okay, so now the Wolframite goes in. Whoa. Um... I have another pallet of iron. Oh, there he is. I was where the nemesis was. You can hear the boss music, but you don't see it. Forty-one minutes. Then, if I were to use these, let's stop that for now. Twenty minutes. There you go. It's all junk. At least my horde base is coming along nicely. I should technically be able to face a horde there. The next horde. Okay, and then when it comes to pallets. I want to make sure I use up all of the clay and then I put three pallets in there. It's weird, I haven't been in this area for a while, so there should technically be a Wandering Horde spawning in soon.
I think they're all at my base. Jeez. Ooh, level 715, uh, attack, uh, assault rifle, attack rifle. <laughs> Dropping everything is always the hardest part. We have so much loot. Really? You're gonna keep all those mining helmets? I mean, all those SWAT helmets? Who? Who? Me. It's you! <laughs> it's John. Hey, of course he is. It just, it takes a while. Oh, damn. Scrap him, you'll hit all of them. It's not like you need the money in this mod. Dang. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Holy mogus. I got a horde in my... And I'm stuck. Okay, pilot of press. What else taking up a lot of space Ooh. right now? Not oh that, my not that, that. Almost died. Almost. Now I wonder, should I repair this pickaxe if I'm just going to be making a new tungsten pickaxe anyways? It just feels like a waste. I'll wait for this to smelt in completely before I start making. But I should be able to make, yep, I can already make 50 forged tungsten. With only 200 tungsten smelted in. That's a nice return. Yeah, it is. Okay, I needed the oil to be able to make repair kits. It's a shame the gun repair kits take so long to make. Damn. I think I usually put these with the farming, and then these especially. I'm never gonna run out of ammo it seems and it's so easy to take the rest apart that you can even I have a half a box of armor piercing and this when I started the stream I think I only had like three rows gunpowder I can actually take the shotgun yeah. shells apart that's one thing you probably could lower just amount of ammo because that disassemble thing makes up for it More ferals, what is going on? Where is this? Yeah. Okay, technically I can take that away in this way because that's just gonna break. This has been upgraded, just one needs upgrades. Put these in.
Damn, it's gonna take so much steel to upgrade this whole thing. But if we can at least... I think at least I'm ready for the first Horde Knight. So they can make it up over there. They can make it up at the back of here. And they can make it all the way to me over here. But if I can have this whole side steel before the next Horde, that would be amazing. And I can do the second side. Of, depending on how well this side works, I can tweak that side over there. Although technically, I do want them to be like mirror images of each other. Also going to need... Two double doors. Two single doors. And four hatches. Although I just used up all the steel, so I wouldn't be able to make it now. I can make it out of iron. So, iron door two. Double door two. And hatches four. That reinforced chain link fence, that is really good. For what? If we're using for doors, you can shoot through it. It has 20k or 25k HP. What? Yep. You can't pick those up, uh, open those up, can you? Yeah. 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 They're just like normal oh, doors. Oh, you mean like the steel doors, like prison doors? Uh, nope. No, nope. oh, I've the got them on. Chain yep. Link. Reinforced chain link fence. It's got a double door and a single door. Hmm. They are very. a lot of HP, and you can shoot through them. Because I've got them on my. Uh... Then again, um, I want to keep them closed so that the zombies can't see me. So I want to make sure okay. that it's like full iron doors so they can't see through the chain link. So I'm guessing since we can see through it, they'll be able to see it through it. Yeah, that's. yeah, it's possible. Okay, this needs repairs. One repair kit left. I want to make sure I start repairing stuff before it breaks. I also want to go and make this, this, and this into tungsten. I mean, I already have this tungsten piece of here, but I need four different, um, or three different level 901 tungsten. Oh no, I just realized the axes. My axe skill isn't that high yet. 555. Five, five. Hmm. What class goes into woodcutting? Is there one? Like a yeah. subclass uh -huh. or something like that. We yep. have to do a quest for that because I uh, I need to get my action skills up. I mean, the axe it itself. I'm actually able to kill zombies with the axe. So you can Structure. melee zombies with them as well. You don't just have to cut, uh, cut down trees. You can also kill zombies with it. In this mod, the, the blade of the thing is so sharp it can actually take heads off. Still need to go and fill all of this up over here. Take it out. Yeah, either fill it up or take these out because it's easier enough for the tongues than pickaxe. Nope. Good morning, killer bunny. Hey, killer. Yeah, so four shots per block. Oh, if I take that out, I can just fill it up over here and then just put a roof on it. And I can even put turrets looking down so if something breaks through, it actually targets it. But it should only be on like during horde nights. I want to be able to flick a switch over here that turns on traps and stuff there, but turns this stuff off. Okay, I just have to wait for the resources to smelt in. And every now and then I should probably also put in... There's more bellows. Bench tools. Last stream, I was in such a rush to uh, say goodbye because it was like a minute before um, two. And if I didn't, uh, like say, buy, stop the stream, uh, the stream would have continued past the video release. And that video would have yeah. done super, super bad. But if I felt so bad, I had to explain in the chat um, why I had to do it and to say goodbye, everyone. This time I have to do it. Make, it sh make sure that I do it at the right time. Yeah, don't be surprised. People understand. Most people understand. I mean, usually I, I say like a massive outro. But because of that, I just had to say bye. Because <laughs> we were busy talking and I, I was paying attention. It's like when your gun breaks. You know your gun's going to break. Like the time's approaching. And then you, you don't realize it's, oh no, it's the time. Your gun's going to break right now. Is that a boss? Oh no, a soldier.
Yeah, but yeah, I'm just gonna call it an episode here or stream here because I need to now just go and focus on smelting stuff. And then next time we'll be able come on. Next time we'll be able to go do a few quests and we'll also be able to keep building as well because I'm gonna have a ton of tungsten and steel and stuff. But yeah, if you guys like the stream, please have a like, share with your friends, comment, tip, and feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. I'm at 6.6 .6 now. If I get to 10k within this year, um, I'm going to get a 7 days to die tattoo. Yeah, 7 days to die tattoo. And um, yeah, if it's 10k this year, the community will be able to decide on the design. But if it's 10k next year, then at least I get to choose the design. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so please make sure you subscribe. If you want to join us on the server, want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a Patreon. Link is in the description down below. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us tonight, guys. I will be streaming again on Saturday. And because it's now three times a week instead of like six times a week, I'm going to be streaming a little bit longer on the weekend. So I started tonight at 10 p.m. I might start at like 8 p.m. on Saturday and end like, instead of ending at 2 a.m., end at 4, uh, 4 a.m. And mine's watching you. Smile. You mean you don't want to do like a twelve-hour stream? If uh, if it got me a ton of subscribers. <laughs> but you guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and good night. Good night, chat.